In the city, among multi-story buildings, someone shouted loudly that he did not agree. Many pixels appeared in the air and entered the body of the guy lying on the bed. He suddenly opened his eyes and tried to catch his breath from fear. He stood up, grabbed his head, and wondered what happened. He's not dead. Can a corpse be hot? There are no calluses on his hands, and his skin is the same as it was ten years ago. He continued to look at his hands in a daze and said, Ten years ago. He turned sharply to the other side of the room and realized, exactly, this is the university dormitory where he lived ten years ago. He immediately lifted his pillow and saw the phone. The time on the phone showed four hours and three minutes in the afternoon. The phone's wallpaper was set to a picture of a pretty girl. He opened the front camera and looked at his reflection, after which he said that this is his face without scars. There can be no mistake. He has been reborn. He returned again on the day when the Doomsday game appeared. He remembers that before this, he had only just become a rank 10 god of war in the Land of Dragons. Two gods of war from a neutral camp invited him to a celebration, and while they were talking, they were unexpectedly invaded by the zombie emperor. This creature began to attack him, and he flew up and swung his sword in defense. When he fought the zombie emperor, the two betrayed him and joined the zombie emperor and then killed him. His trembling body lay in a pool of blood. A girl approached him and said, Lin Ziluo, she congratulates him because he has become the god of war. Does he like the family's gift? He got angry and shouted at her, she. That same girl, Yao Jinghen, at the sight of the zombie emperor, not only reached an agreement with the Lai family, but also completely blocked the legendary world. She is the first beauty of their university. Out of all the possible lucky ones, she chose him. He himself was happy that he was dating the most beautiful girl of the university, but who knew that before the Day of Judgment, a gentleman from the Lai family gave her instructions to get closer to him and all in order to, with his help, expand the territory of the Lai family's possessions and then get rid of him. Whether the family belongs to the three major sects of Dragon Country, their influence in Dragon Country cannot be underestimated. He was able to escape from their clutches, being on the verge of death, and for the next ten years he hid from the Lai family's mercenaries. Ziluo sat down on the edge of the bed and said her name, gritted his teeth, and said that if she had not been protected by the Lai family, then he would have been able to take revenge on this terrible girl. But now he has been reborn, the end of the world has not yet come, and she has not become his girlfriend, and he can deal with her in advance. At that moment, a message came to his phone. He looked at the screen. It was a message from Jinghen, who wrote that today she was teaching children and would not be able to celebrate her birthday with him. Let him forgive her. He was surprised and asked again, is she teaching classes? It seems to him that she is conducting classes for Mr. Tiorza lie in his bed. He slammed his fist on the table and continued to say that this was a great birthday present. Maybe they will also film everything and give it to him. Well, it's okay, Jing-in, since she has business, he invites her to meet later in an abandoned warehouse behind the sports field. He misses, she answered, okay, but immediately asked the question, why did he want to meet there? She will need to leave before six o'clock, so she asks her to act quickly, she has a surprise for him. He looked into the distance and asked the question, why do the Habos hate him so much? He would never know this, and he thought that it was all because of his father, who died very early. He was looking forward to celebrating her birthday with all his heart for the first time and ended up receiving an embarrassing congratulations video. Because they mocked him, he missed the best time for cultivation, but in his new life he will not let this happen again and they will pay for everything. When he went outside, one of the guys passing by wondered why the sky suddenly turned red. It's even scary. Another replied to him, what an expert said, that such a phenomenon only happens once every 5,000 years, he shouldn't worry about it. Let him just admire the beauty. Ziluo turned towards them and thought, The bloody sky is a harbinger of the beginning of the Doomsday game. At 7 o'clock on Doomsday, there will be a change in reality, and the whole world will turn into a huge game, and few will be able to survive. He approached an abandoned warehouse, opened the door, and walked inside into the darkness, where he saw Jinghen sitting on a chair, who asked the question, Why did he only come now? What kind of surprise is this? He should speak quickly, because she still has classes. There was a knife in his hand, which he lowered a little and said in response to her with a smile that she should not worry so much, and she would soon find out about everything. He began to approach her, and Jinghen said with an alarmed look that if he didn't tell her what was wrong, then she would leave here. At that moment, he grabbed her by the neck. Her phone jumped out of her hand, and she screamed loudly in fear and pain. The phone hit the floor, and she began to pronounce his name in fear. 
He lifted her hand by the neck into the air. She asked to let her go, saying that he was crazy. Zilio told her, March 16, 478, 53 239 Yuan at the Devil Hotel. He took out a knife and continued to speak, March 29, 478, 190 984 Yuan at the Emperor Kai Hotel. She looked at him in fear and asked what he was saying. He should stop muttering something so quietly and he should let her go. He kept calling numbers and repeating himself. She mentally wondered why these dates and hotel names seemed so familiar to her. Zilio spoke, April 13, Ghost Nightclub 490 Yuan. She was dumbfounded and thought, these are the same places where she and Lai Hayabo spent time together. She grabbed his hand and said with a pitiful look that she would explain everything. He smiled and asked again, does she want to explain this? But how? He touched her phone, turned it on, and saw a correspondence with the person she called the owner. She said that she couldn't wait any longer and was going to him. He asked again, did she say everything to Lin Ziluo? If not, then he's not interested. She wrote back that she said everything, and this idiot believed that she went to teach classes. He asked again, did she prepare him a birthday present? She replied that he should not worry about it, everything is ready, he should also not forget to buy her that bag that she liked so much. He smiled when he looked at the phone screen, and Jing Hin was dumbfounded with fear and sat silently on the chair. He found that same video and pressed the play button, after which he looked at her with a smile and said, Lin Ziluo, he's an idiot, she wishes him a happy birthday. In the video she asked him to think, why would the most beautiful girl in the university date a poor guy like him? He is an orphan, and he has nothing but a good face. Tears appeared in her eyes, and with her face distorted with fear, she mentally wondered how he knew about this. He again said her same words from the video before these words appeared. If Mr. Klenelai didn't need him, she wouldn't even look at him. She wondered again, weren't these the videos she recorded for Mr. Lai? How does he know all her words? He continued to show her the video and pronounce all her words in advance, if not for him, then the master would not have chosen her, and she would not be enjoying all this luxury now, so thank him very much. Her body shook in the chair. Zilluo looked into her eyes and asked menacingly. She was probably wondering how he knew all this. She was dumbfounded. He raised her hand and shouted that she should go to hell and think about it. He swung the knife at her and shouted at her to die, and a moment later, her hair flew into the air and her body fell to the floor, covered in blood. Ziluo, who was standing and trying to catch his breath, suddenly knelt down and said, Ten years. He laughed and continued shouting, Ten years. Tears flowed from his eyes. He covered his face with his hands and was glad that he had finally done it. It finally happened. But this is not enough because there is still a Hayabo and his family who are hiding in their estate. The system window tells him that it congratulates the owner on his rebirth. The Doomsday Game Trainer system is activated. He looked questioningly at the time on his phone and then asked if the Day of Judgment would come at 7 o'clock and now it was only 6. Where did the system come from? Besides, he had never heard of the trainer system. The system window reports that the system provides data about the Doomsday game and also brings the owner of the system the best gaming experience. He found himself inside the information circle and the system reported that his acquaintance with him was completed and he should receive his first game reward. He looked at his hands and said, Get! After which the download began and the reward was downloaded. He's congratulated on winning his first award. It's an absolute blast. Absolute explosion means that when killing any zombies, the benefit from exploding items increases from 1 to 100%. He thought, When killing one zombie, you need to explode one object and the benefit will be greater. In Doomsday World, when an item explodes, 1% is synthesized. He was dumbfounded, and the system reported that killing a large number of monsters is a low probability of survival. His own experience doesn't compare with all these numbers. It's not very convincing. Can this system really be trusted? He looked to the side and read the information. Doomsday Game Trainer System, name Lin Ziluo Level 0. With every tenth level, you can activate one element of the system. There is one super trainer, an absolute explosion, when killing any zombies, the benefit from exploding objects increases from 1 to 100%. There are no tasks yet, there is no regular trainer yet. He opened his mouth in shock and said that this was pretty cool. The system reports that with every 10th level increase, the owner receives a new super trainer. When completing a task, the owner receives the usual trainer, weapons, items, and other rewards from the system. He was delighted, tapped his fist on his palm and wondered, with this system, will he be able to overthrow the family? 
but the family is one of the three main families of the dragon country, and their strength cannot be underestimated. They not only have a huge number of well-trained warriors, but also secret body hardening techniques. Therefore, after the onset of Judgment Day, they were able to extract a lot of benefits and strengthen their power. He still doesn't know why Hayabo hates him. Perhaps this is because of his deceased father. He will probably only be able to find out the truth if he infiltrates their family. He planned to kill the Lai Hayabo and then gradually strengthen his strength, but since he now has a system, he can become stronger much faster and then destroy the Lai family. He covered his head with his hood, walked towards the exit and said, Is the clan already coming? In the room, he left the murdered Jinghin, who lay in a pool of her blood. When he went outside, many people around were surprised at the beautiful colors in the sky. Someone took pictures and offered to make a heart with their hands, and someone asked their girlfriend where they would go tonight. Zilio walked past them without any interest and thought that now they were enjoying love, but very soon they would start killing each other. He walked up to the hotel, went inside and told the receptionist, greeting him, that he needed a room with an hourly rate. They should bring him three bottles of water and five rolls. At that very moment, he thought, if this system turns out to be unreliable, then he needs to be better prepared and stock up on food. The man who was reading the magazine told him that a room for one costs 40 yuan per hour, rolls for three yuan and water for two. He cleared his throat, picked up several bills, and asked to call him girl number three. When he entered the room and lay down on the bed, it was already almost seven o'clock. He realized that in five minutes it would be seven o'clock, the last time that girl became the main zombie boss in the area. He fought with her, and after she turned into a zombie, he killed her right there. This time he will be able to figure everything out faster and receive a reward. At the same time, he will check this system. There was a knock on his door, and the girl said that she had already arrived. He told her to come in because the door was open. Girl number three came into his room and asked if he was handsome. That's great. At that moment, she approached him and asked why he had not undressed yet. He looked at her. The girl began to take off the straps of her sweater and said that they needed to figure it out faster since she would soon have another client. He asked her to take a shower. After which he sat on the edge of the bed and thought about it. The smell of zombies emanates from it and before the end of the world signs appear that can help you understand who will turn into a monster. He grabbed a knife and approached the bathroom, where she was taking a shower and washing her body parts. When she turned to him, she said that she knew that he would want to play. Let him come to her soon, she's already tired of waiting. She turned off the water and covered herself with a towel, when suddenly a loud sound occurred, the girl was dumbfounded, her body began to shake, and she gradually began to turn into a zombie. Her skin darkened to a green color and bloody splashes appeared on her body. She grabbed her head and began to growl loudly. When she turned into a monster completely, she reached out to him with her hand. He came closer himself and made a sharp movement with a knife, and a moment later she fell to the ground, and the system window reported that she was dead. Ziluo exhaled and found himself inside the information circle. The system told him, Welcome to the Doomsday Game. The game has already begun and stopping is impossible. All players must develop independently. Zombies in this world have acute hearing, but weak eyesight. They can only notice moving objects. Judgment Day has already arrived and 80% of the people of this world have been turned into zombies. The remaining 20% are just lucky. Please let her enjoy the game. Of course, the main goal is to survive, and if he dies, he will not be able to continue the game. In order for the game process to be successful, he should familiarize himself with the rules. First rule. By killing people and animals that have turned into zombies, he increases his level and also receives new elements. Game experience and level are closely related. Reputation level, coins, storage space, basic characteristics, talents, attribute. The second rule is that for killing people and animals who have turned into zombies, he receives equipment, items, and material resources. They also hope he's not scared to death yet. Equipment levels in the game are bronze, silver, gold, diamond, epic, legendary, mythical. As for higher levels, he doesn't need this information yet. He silently looked at the surrounding system windows, which continued to inform him that opportunities were hidden everywhere in this world, and he should pay special attention to searching for them. Modern technology in this world is now useless, including communications. All communication technologies cause interference, and he should not try to use them, but he can leave the phone to read books and play games. 
The only way to turn into a zombie is through a bite or wound, so he doesn't have to worry about being infected by zombie blood. Nighttime increases the basic characteristics of zombies, and it is better to hide at this time. Zombies are able to evolve over time, and he must try to keep up with them. There's a lot more they could tell him, but oh well. They will see who can survive the next seven days. Now the zombie is very weak, and you need to kill as many as possible, and not say that the system did not warn him. He must also remember that nothing is impossible in the Doomsday game. We wish him a pleasant game. He must enter the player's name into the table. He entered the name Yetsu and thought that he would rather take another name and begin his path of revenge. Let everyone be prepared to pay for everything. The system congratulated the player Yaitsu for successfully killing a zombie and he receives one experience point, one coin and moves to level 2. He is congratulated on becoming the first player to kill a zombie. He achieved the best result on this planet, this is the first drop of blood. This information will be available to all players. He was happy and said that he had finally achieved a result that would be published for everyone. He fought all his past life and even became the god of war, but he was never rewarded like that. Meanwhile, the system created a general announcement that congratulates the player Yetsu for killing the first zombie. He becomes the first to achieve the best result on the planet. This is the first drop of blood. Everyone else should follow the example of the player Yetsu. Many people, meanwhile, were running through the streets from the terrifying sights of bloody zombies that were catching up with them. A girl with red glasses and a cute pigtail named Jai, Yao asked the question, what's going on? She hasn't even finished studying the instructions, and someone has already killed a zombie. A guy named Gu Geaji killed one of the zombies with a club and wondered if anyone was ahead of him. Zilio sat down and began to read the system characteristics window. Player Yazai, nickname First Drop of Blood, Level 2, Reputation 1000, Reward 1000, Coins 1001, Reward 1000, Storage Space 1, 1 Omen a Cube. Base stats, strength 11, energy 15, body quality 10, speed 13. Talents, deep learning, epic level talent. He knows many fighting techniques and can also use basic skills. Attribute 4, reward 3. Strength affects physical strength and attack power. Energy affects the ability to release skills, cooldown and frequency of use. Body quality affects the ability to survive and defend. And speed affects reaction and speed itself. He thought about it and said, the energy and speed are quite high, and he also has epic level talent. In a previous life, he would not have achieved this in 10 years. He also received reputation points in coins, some types of equipment require reputation, and the store often has discounts. And the most important is the title, now that he kills every day, the power of destruction will increase by 100%. Also, four attribute points are given to him simply so that they will increase the power of defeat many times more. He looked into the bathroom where a dead zombie lay on the floor and a meditation pendant appeared there. This is a bronze level equipment. When using this equipment, energy will increase by one point and the rate of energy recovery will increase by 10%. Zilua was delighted and shouted, this is cool. Indeed, that 100% explosion reward worked. He immediately won the bronze equipment. The system tells him please, he must use the trainer system wisely and not forget about the existence of the system. He smiled and said that he understood everything. If he was given such a chance, how could he not take advantage of it? He took the purple pendant on a chain in his hands and thought, at night the zombie's power grows and he needs to hide before 8 o'clock comes. Until then, he can kill even more zombies and he will start with other rooms in this hotel. He picked up his knife, yawned and began to approach the exit, when he suddenly heard a loud sound and paused. At that moment, he heard a loud knock on the door, walked closer to the door handle, sharply pulled it and opened the door with his foot, as a result of which he saw a bloody zombie in front of him. After turning into zombies, people retained some of their characteristics that they had during life. This one seemed to do a lot of physical labor. The system window reports information about zombies, an ordinary zombie level 1. Base stats, strength 12, energy 5, body quality 13, speed 9. Zilio reasoned, even though his characteristics are a couple of points higher than those of other zombies, he can handle him with ease. At that moment, the zombie began to wave his hand in front of him. Zylo deftly turned and squatted down, after which he sharply thrust his knife straight into the monster's throat and killed it. 
The zombie screamed loudly in pain, and his hand approached Zylo, who looked at this in bewilderment, twisted the knife into his neck, and finally killed him. The system window says it congratulates him for being a zombie and gives him one experience point and one coin. He spoke, looking at the dead zombie's body with seriousness. This time he didn't do a very good job and couldn't kill this creature with one blow. A material resource appears above the body of a killed zombie. It turned out to be a card of beef fillet steak and the system reports that this is a beef steak prepared according to a special recipe from Dongguan County, with the addition of specially prepared soy sauce which will be an excellent dinner. Method of Use After activation, the steak will appear in his hand at the optimal temperature. He looked at the card and said, There are material resources on this card, which means it is very valuable, but when the store opens, it will cost only 100 coins. Nothing special, this will do for a start. He opened the backpack into the system window and put this card there. The zombie was left lying in a pool of blood while Zylo rummaged through his backpack. He looked at the hammer and at the photo of his daughter, saying that this man used to be a repairman. He walked through several more rooms and stopped in front of room 206, saying that he had more work to do. He suddenly started knocking on the door with a hammer, and when he broke it, he shouted to open it because this is a fight against illegal activities. He saw something and was dumbfounded, after which he asked again, was that also possible? He saw a couple of zombies who were spending time together on the bed and silently turned to look at him. He silently and with a feeling of shame looked at them in response, after which he abruptly closed the door and left the room, saying that he had even forgotten. That this is a love hotel. He looked out into the corridor from the doorway and said, Although they turned into zombies, they did not forget how to do such things. That zombie guy noticed him and started running straight at him to attack. Zilua quickly dodged, shouting, Buddy, did he really interfere with them? The zombie continued to hunt him, and Zylo, in turn, looked at it and said that this zombie's characteristics were two points lower than that of that worker. What a cheeky zombie this is. He swung the hammer and hit the monster right on the head. After this blow, the blood from the head splashed heavily, and with his other hand, Zylo plunged a dagger into his head. The monster fell to the floor, and at that moment, Zylo sharply twisted the dagger in his hand and destroyed the girl, who was right behind him without turning around. The system congratulated him for killing two zombies and receiving two experience points and two coins. Two glowing boxes appeared under his feet. He was very happy and shouted, this is a double reward. It seems that the system was telling the truth about the 100% explosion. In his past life, after killing hundreds of zombies, he could only get half a bottle of water. In this life, he was incomparably lucky. He opened the box and said with delight that it was cool to be lucky. The system congratulates him for receiving double the explorer's eye. The explorer's eye is a one-time use bronze level tool that helps the explorer's surroundings within a 10 meter radius. Once is enough for 10 hours. He pressed the use button, grinning, after which a man nearby began to shout, who was making noise upstairs. Now he will show him. It's him, the little idiot. The man climbed up the stairs and continued to shout in loud voice, waving his fists that some poor guy was making such a noise. He must get down on his knees and ask for forgiveness, or he will throw him out of here. The man tried to punch him in the face, but Ziluo deftly dodged and the man fell to the floor. Ziluo, meanwhile, held the dagger behind his back. The man turned around sharply and shouted angrily, what a freak he was. He dares to hide from him? He will definitely find him and deal with him. At that moment, his facial expression changed to a more frightened one, who approached him with a red face and with a dagger in his hand, said that killing him now was too dreary. He would rather wait an hour until a zombie bites him and then kill him, but unfortunately, in this hour, he will be able to kill many more zombies, so he does not want to waste time on him. A moment later, the man's blood spilled onto the floor, and he screamed loudly in pain and fear and was killed. Ziluo looked at his bloody body and said, In the world after the end of the world, the one with the strongest blow survives. What a pity that this is not about him. He went to the next door, knocked and said, Hello. He came to clean the drain. Approaching another door, he also knocked and said that he had come to fix the bed. Knocking on the door, he pretended to be a food delivery person, but none of them answered him. He scratched his head and approached the door from which the noise was coming from. He was happy and said, finally there are zombies there. When he sharply opened the door and went inside, he saw a monster in front of him, and starting to attack it, it was already behind him. 
but he kicked this creature, did a somersault, and found himself in another part of the room, sharply jerked his hand and cut the throat of the monster, who screamed loudly in pain, and a moment later a reward in the form of a vessel appeared under his feet. He took the bottle and said with a smile that it was pretty good, and it helped him a lot, guy. He began to open all the things in the room, when suddenly he entered room 201, looked at it, and said that tonight he would spend the night here. He threw off his things and a system window appeared in front of his face, which said, Dear Player Aitsu, he only had six experience points left to gain before moving to level three. He sat down on the bed, looked at his phone, saw the time was seven hours, forty minutes, and was stunned to realize that it would soon be eight o'clock. He ran down the stairs, saying in a hurry that he needed to kill six zombies in twenty minutes to get to the third level. He ran past the register when he suddenly noticed a sign on the table, paused and read that girl number three would serve him at any time he wished. He wondered, girl number three. Zeluo looked thoughtful and continued thinking, if there are only three of them and he killed two, then this means that there is one more left. He grabbed the hammer in his hands and realized that, according to the game's setup, a zombie was coming out towards the sound. He started knocking loudly on the wall when he suddenly looked into the doorway and heard sounds from there. He went inside, looked around and saw a hatch on the floor from which strange knocks were heard. When he opened it, he said, What a horror! How far it has gone! He saw approaching zombies on the stairs in the distance, screaming loudly, but one of them was unable to grab the stairs with his hand and began to fall down onto another zombie. Zilio smiled and said, They are trying so hard. After these words, he jumped straight inside, grabbed one zombie by the hair, after which he turned around, seeing the approaching hands of another monster, and plunged a dagger straight into the throat of this creature, causing the monster to growl loudly, and moments later the system reported that he had killed two zombies and receives two experience points. To move to level 3, he only needs to get four points. He looked at the dagger and said, This knife has already become dull, and it has become difficult for him to kill so he hopes that the game will give him some kind of weapon as a reward. At that moment, he saw a bright beam of light to his side and shouted in displeasure. The system provides Lin Ziluo with the Tang Sword. When he sees this, he exclaims in shock, it can't be. His thoughts are material. He takes the sword in his hand and notes with a smile, that's it. He won't just have steak for dinner tonight. An information window appears, notifying that dinner will also include two fragrant mantu, that is, unfilled steamed buns. It has no special properties. Zilio pulls the sword out of its sheath, and the system explains that the weapon is a bronze-level weapon, developed during the Tang era in the Land of Dragons. Length 70 centimeters, high strength, it is capable of penetrating armor. The characteristics of the ball are strength plus one the ability to weaken the enemy's defense by 10%, and gradually recover after the end of the battle. The weapons region is the Land of Dragons. The Wars of the Tang Era took advantage of this. He examines the sword from all sides, saying that in fact, such a weapon can be bought later, but now it will only benefit him. After that, he looks at his inventory and notes that he has 10 minutes left. Lin Zilio climbs up the stairs and, leaving the buildings, sees several zombies ahead. He clenches his fist tightly when suddenly the zombies notice him and run to attack. They enter the hotel, growling loudly, but suddenly fall on top of each other. Ziluo thinks that he overestimated the mental abilities of the zombies of the first day. In a past life, on the first day of the game, he sat in the room and thought that his life was over. And on the second day, the zombies had already moved to the second level. Unfortunately, he missed such time because of this stuff. After that, he held the sword in front, walked towards the zombies, and killed them all with one swing. Lin Ziluo turned back, and then looked at the sword and said that it turned out well, this sword is of excellent quality. An information box congratulates him to everyone for killing four zombies. He receives four experience points and four coins. He also came to the third level, and therefore he receives one free point for his characteristics. To move to the fourth level, he needs to gain another 30 experience points. Zilio tiredly puts his hand to his head and notes that it's good that he managed to move to the next level. Suddenly he hears a noise and turns his head to the side and sees a zombie girl. He thinks with relief that finally, a zombie with at least some intelligence, she even came to him on her own. When she approaches him, he still gets worried even at the sight of a dead woman. But then he kills the zombie and the system gives him a box with a book inside. This is a skill and he picks it up. Looking at this with emotion, he says that this is very cool. 
but after Lin Ziluo exclaims, he immediately got a book with a skill. The next day, he walks down the street. Suddenly, the alarm on his phone starts ringing loudly, and he tosses it aside with a frown. The phone breaks noisily when suddenly someone's huge silhouette appears in front of him. The information window explains that zombies are characterized by the first level. Its base stats include Strength 15, Energy 10, Body Quality 16, Speed 15. There is also an explanation. At night, zombies receive more different buffs, body characteristics increase, and zombies become more difficult to defeat. Players must look for the right moment. He grins menacingly with glowing red eyes and stands in front of Ziluo. He tightly grips the hilt of the sword and thrusts it forward and thinks that the strength of this zombie has increased to its maximum in just one minute. He then runs forward and realizes that he must deal with it within the next minute. Lin Ziluo swings his sword and plunges it straight into the zombie's neck. But suddenly he understands that he cannot move his sword and the zombie begins to growl in bewilderment. Ziluo steps back and picks up a hammer. He swings it and, screaming for the monster to die, throws the hammer forward. It goes straight to the monster's head. At this moment, Lin Ziluo runs up and draws his sword. The hammer falls to the floor and the zombie frowns forward. He then reaches his hand straight towards Ziluo. He runs into the hotel room and, swinging his sword, inflicts a deep wound on the zombie's neck. He falls and Ziluo, looking at all the previous corpses, realizes that the characteristics of this zombie have already reached their peak. If it weren't for his experience, plus the fact that he had time to prepare, he would have lost. Collecting small boxes that are issued by the system and dragging the corpses aside, he remembers that it is already 8 o'clock in the evening. The characteristics of all the zombies outside have increased by at least 50%. He fought the last zombie for too long. If he hadn't finished it off in time, he might have brought others here. Lin Ziluo looks at the entrance barricaded with zombie corpses and then enters room 202. He picks up an eye from the floor, and the information window explains that he used an explorer's eye. If a person approaches him like a zombie, the protective barrier of the researchers, I will immediately turn red. He will receive a warning and will be able to accurately determine the location. After that, he sighs heavily. After a while, he gets out of the shower and stops looking at the small boxes on the table. When he opens it, he mentally exclaims, it can't be. He caught two more researcher eyes. In addition, he came across a twilight ring, one liter of mineral water, and sliced Peking duck. Ziluo notes that in his previous life, he had to spend a lot to buy all this, and now he gets it for nothing. He doesn't understand anything. But then he happily clenches his fist and, taking the ring in his hands, exclaims that this is a cool thing. The information box explains that the twilight ring is bronze tier equipment, great for concealment during twilight hours. Speed plus one. After dusk, it reduces the sense of presence by 30%. Lin Ziluo puts the ring on his thumb and then looks to the side. A skill book floats above the table. The information window explains that the respected player has received a skill book. He can use an unlimited number of skills from this book during the game. Ziluo sighs heavily again and says, of course, the number of skills is unlimited because the explosion coefficient of this item is also unlimited. After that, he looks through the list of skills and notes that regular players from level 10 to 80 can only gain special skills three times. He, having the 80th level, notes that he saw unfortunate people who managed to get only three skills in the end, and even then they were not suitable for them. Many players who were between levels 60 and 70 only had skills acquired from their new profession. The person who managed to gain the most skills was nicknamed the God of Skills. In total, he managed to collect 25 species. Lin Ziluo then reaches out to the skill book and remembers that in his previous life, he had 10 kinds of skills, surpassing 99% of the players. Buddha, Allah, Jesus, and the Jade Lords took care of him together. After that, he slowly opens the book and mentally hopes that he will get the best skill so that he can successfully start this life. Ziluo looks down with wide eyes. A card with the spin attack skill falls out of the book. Then an information box appears that explains that this is a warrior skill. 120% damage is achieved when throwing a weapon. After reaching the farthest distance or the enemy's body, the weapon returns back. The flight distance of the weapon to the target and back is the same. If the weapon hits an enemy during its return flight, the hit percentage is 80. If the weapon encounters obstacles, it does not return. After reading this, he exclaims joyfully, this is a very rare skill. It allows you to return the weapon back, 
and even increases the percentage of defeat of the enemy. However, the skill's cooldown time is quite long. When he increases his energy level, he can reduce this time, and then he will be at his best. The system specifies whether he wants to learn the rotation attack skill. Zilio reads the book carefully, and then presses the attack rotation button and shouts joyfully, he's ready. Lin Zilio swings his sword, frowning, noting that he will now try this skill. But suddenly he freezes and opens the information window, deciding no, first he needs to eat. He chooses Peking duck, Faishan vodka, appetizer, steak and hamburger. Zilio greedily ate it all at once, exclaiming that it was incredibly delicious, just like in five-star hotels. After a while, he had dinner, and, having cleared everything from the table and throwing everything in the trash, sat down with a tired look and walked up to the panoramic window. He thought that if he wants revenge, then he can no longer follow the game's plot as in his previous life. Otherwise, the same fate awaits him. Having selected a pen in the system, he took a piece of paper and wrote the title Warrior Mage. Lin Zilio concentrated and described that as a warrior increases his level, his strength and body quality increase by one point. Two points are also added to any characteristics you can choose as desired. When choosing the path of defense, the quality of the body increases. When choosing the path of a warrior, you need to increase your strength. When choosing an assassin, you need to increase your speed. When choosing a shooter, you need to increase the probability of hitting the target. Warrior specialists may notice changes in energy and speed. The most important thing is to go in accordance with real forces. For a magician, when leveling up, one point is added to energy and speed. Two points are also added to the characteristics if desired. Most players mainly increase energy. If you need to increase your body quality or strength, you can become a warrior mage. Only 1% of players belong to the secret specialty, the probability of activating a top-class secret specialty is very small. Having written this, he also circled the word ghost in red. Lin Ziluo frowned and thought that if he had succeeded in his previous life, he would do better in this life. At the same time, he wrote that the secret specialty, unlike ordinary specialties, occupies only 1%. There are even fewer players who have received a top-class secret specialty. After reaching the 10th level, the player can activate experience in the system and select the appropriate scenario. He thoughtfully noted that although the task for a secret specialty is extremely dangerous, the reward is also great. After that, he also wrote that the ghost's special specialty is the highest level of the assassin's specialty. It increases speed to maximum and also gives a huge percentage of enemy defeat. Before changing specialty, when the level increases, the strength speed increases by 2 points, and the characteristics also increase by 3 points by choice. Lin Ziluo realized that if he had not activated the ghost specialty in his past life, he would not have been able to hide from the Lai family for 10 years. Everyone who receives these specialties in the future becomes gods of war or gods of magic. In addition, on a piece of paper he wrote down the Knight of Light, the Magician of Dead Souls, the Demon Asura, the Titan, the Eater of Life. Five points can be distributed among the characteristics. At the moment, Strength is 13, Energy is 17, Body Quality is 11, and Speed is 15. He thinks and selects in the Information window that will add plus 3 to Strength from 16. After that, a red energy flow passes through him and Zilua wonders where he met the Saint Knight. That's right, that diamond level item. He should have written it down earlier. Now he doesn't remember where that sword is. The next day, on a warm sunny day, a vase breaks in a tall house with a carved fence. A man in a suit with blue hair sweeps broken dishes from the shelves and asks, Will you calm down? How can he calm down? His plan has gone awry. All because of that fool Yao Jingin. Where is she now? Not only is it because of her that he cannot finish collecting the material, but he also did not send it on time to the stupid Lin Ziluo. Lai Hayabo, a young member of the Lai family, smashes the dishes on the floor and shouts angrily, stupid game, how everything infuriates him. The Lai family butler's special assistant Hayabo stands behind him and calmly asks him to be quiet. Many of their guards are already mortally wounded. If they are attacked by zombies again, he is afraid that they will not be able to survive. But he turns around and asks irritably, what does the assistant think if he kills this Lin Ziluo, then he will meet his stupid father. The assistant closes his eyes and right above him good and evil argue. The angel asks with folded hands whether the father of the family deliberately raised his young son in this way. 
The devil notes that he could not be mistaken if the Lai family only has one capable heir, this will help avoid infighting. But the assistant also thinks that with such a character, the young man will not have it easy after the end of the world. After that, he nervously adjusts his glasses. But Lai Heabo's voice is heard again, telling Zhao Bo that he still won't calm down. Bo clarifies what happened to the young man. He asks, didn't his father say a couple of days ago that a company of hired hunters would come to him? Maybe the moment has already come and they can be sent to these two. He will find Yao Jinghen, dead or alive. Even this idiot Lin Ziliwo will bring him to a nervous breakdown. Xiao Bo adds that these mercenaries were specially trained for him since childhood. They will definitely cope with his task. Hayabo imagines how the oppressed Ziliwo sits near Jinghen's corpse and laughs evilly. Lin Ziliuo sneezes and wipes his nose with his hand, wondering if someone remembers him again. But then he jumps out of the window and, landing on the ground, looks around. Taking out a sword from behind his back, he throws it forward and the information window congratulates him for killing the zombie and receiving one experience point and one coin. After that, he kills four more zombies and receives congratulations from the system. Throws a sword at one of the zombies, it pierces his throat, and a sign above him announces that he is dead. Ziluo looks at the sword and thinks that this spin kick is great. If he could still raise the level, he would be happy. The development time of the rotational impact is also too long. But enough for today with these words, he opens small boxes and is rewarded with a clean men's shirt, spicy chicken with rice, and a super accurate watch. Then he looks into another box and there is a beeping sound. An information box congratulates him on receiving a new tool. Zilio takes out an equipment enhancement scroll from the box, and the information window explains that this is a bronze level item that can increase the level of equipment of that level. He puts the sword behind his back and notes that he finally has something useful. The information window appears again, and explains that equipment after strengthening also increases in characteristics. The first time you use the boost, guaranteed. Then the quality of the gain will depend on the increase or decrease in level. The enhancement was successful. He receives the Thane Sword plus one. This is a bronze level weapon that was used by the Tang Arrow Warriors of the Land of Dragons. It has the ability to penetrate armor and also has high durability. After strengthening, it also increased in characteristics. Among other characteristics, two points were added to its strength. The ability to reduce the enemy's defenses by 15%. With successive strikes, the strength increases by 10%. After the battle, the sword is able to restore damage. Lin Ziluo opens another system window with the personal characteristics of the Yazai player, Special Forces level. It adds a few more points to the 18-point strength. He then places the sword in his backpack, and the information button congratulates him on receiving the Mask of Concealment. A box appears next to Ziluo, from which a mask appears. The information window explains that this is a bronze level item. It allows you to hide your nickname, level, and other basic information for 30 minutes. Maximum can be used twice a day. He takes the hand mask and puts it on. The information window explains that he has successfully activated the concealment mask. Afterwards, Lin Ziluo leans on his backpack and thinks that he will rest first and then continue. If today he reaches the fifth level, then he will be able to go straight into battle and not waste time on quests. Quests are the best way to earn experience points, food and equipment in the Doomsday game. The player only needs to find one of the many portals to the quest. There are also separate special quests. On individual quests you can get great rewards. Zilio looks at the sun's rays and turns a blind eye and decides, okay, he'll go straight to the Lai family's estate. After that, he takes a super accurate watch out of his backpack and puts it on his hand and sets off. After some time, he enters the courtyard of the house and sees that the doors are locked. But Lin Ziluo breaks it, opens it, and goes inside. Having walked a little along the corridor, he sees blood stains visible from under the door, leading into the next room. He looks into the space between the wall and the slightly open door, when suddenly a zombie's hand sticks out at him. He chops it off, and it falls to the floor. Ziluo concentrates and turns back. He realizes that something is wrong here and moves to the wall next to the window. Suddenly the door leading to the next room is broken through by two hands and a rabid zombie appears. Lin Ziluo kills it with one blow and looks into the room. He takes a closer look and sees a family photo of a father with two children on the table. Ziluo goes inside and approaches the balcony, gritting his teeth. After that he tries to calm down and exclaim, No matter, 
So many people have turned into zombies. He can't sympathize with everyone. The system menu appears in front of him, and he notes that the choice is very large. He doesn't even know what he wants. Then he will eat whatever he gets by chance. After that, he sits down on the sofa, and there are four dishes on the table in front of him. He begins to eat it greedily and soon eats everything. Lin Zilio lies on the sofa looking at the phone screen and says that now he is on Pinchin Street. After lunch, he will go east and reach approximately the red dot. He still needs to gain a few points to reach the fifth level. Just on the way, he will kill a couple of zombies, and that will be enough. Zilio pulls himself up and heads towards the exit, but suddenly stops and thinks, one, two, three. All he cared about was how to eat, and he forgot about these rats. After this, Lin Zilio presses himself against the wall next to one of the rooms. Someone's voices are heard outside. Did he go out? No, the sound of footsteps was definitely heard. Gu Geiji frowns at the house and asks again, Did he go out? And turning to Jai Yao and the teenage boy, he asks, Did they also smell the food? That guy definitely has a lot of food cards. Lin Zilio looks out of the window and watches them. Yao notes with dismay that it is not good to take away someone's strength. But they ask Geiji irritably, seriously. They will simply threaten him with a knife, then he will give all his cards to them. Zilio sneaks up behind them and thinks they are three rats. Jai Kaiji, very worried, suggests thinking logically, that guy broke their door, so it was a burglary. Jai Yao probably answers in confusion. She clutches her stomach and thinks that their dad has become a zombie, and she and her brother immediately ran out of the room without even taking anything. They haven't eaten anything since yesterday. But there's nothing you can do about it. But that guy has food. She clenches her fists tightly and replies, Okay, they should take his food away. But suddenly she freezes in horror and looks forward. Lin Ziluo kills Gu Geiji with one swing of his sword, and she screams in horror as she falls to the ground. He explains that he wanted to save some energy, but he doesn't want them to attract zombies here. Then he throws aside a spinning disc, which cuts off Yao's head, and then flies after Kaishi and also kills him. Zilio catches the disc, which turns into a sword and, looking around, wonders why this boy should live without his sister. Did they want to rob him? Then they got what they deserved. They still have to thank him for killing them and allowing them to die quickly, otherwise they would have only suffered in this game. He leaves and notes with a sigh that he has done a good deed again. The state should reward him. The windows of the house are covered with blood stains and the glass in the frame cracks. Evening is falling in the city, and zombies are roaming the streets. Some of them begin to climb the walls. A woman with a bob looks out the window and asks her husband if he can look here. Are there superheroes there? But the man approaches her in surprise and asks, What other superhero? They lock the door. The zombies won't come to them. But the woman points to the street and exclaims, Over there. He must look. On the street is Lin Ziluo wearing a hiding mask, who is killing all the zombies nearby. The man screams in delight. It can't be. He is simply a master. The information window next to Ziluo doesn't show any of the basic information. Then you can exclaim in surprise, what? Strange, he can't see his information. The woman asks to call him quickly. He will help them. But he looks forward in disbelief and asks what she came up with. They will only show their location. Many zombies will immediately come to them. Moreover, this person hid his basic information, which means he does not want to reveal his identity. Does she think he will want to help them? Hearing this, the woman exclaims with a smile, Her husband is very smart. A girl with purple hair and a red dress is broadcasting live. Then she leans out the window and shouts, Zilio, oh boy, won't he save the poor girl? But he goes further and collects boxes of meat and mustard, toothpaste, and cold medicine. The girl continues to scream, didn't he understand who she was? She has 30,000 subscribers on the internet. Then she picks up a pot of a plant and exclaims with displeasure, a rich man gives her a car every day. But some freak in a mask ignores her. She will teach him a lesson. With these words, she brings the pot of the plant to the window and throws it down directly onto Lin Ziluo. But he notices it and takes a step forward. It lands very close, but the girl continues to scream, she's here. The guy must save her quickly. She's got some zombies here. She's scared. Then she winks at him and explains that if he saves her, she will become his wife. But at the same moment, she thinks, some poor man is playing games with her. Who does he even take her for? Zilio snaps his fingers and meat covered in mucus appears in his hand. The information box explains that this is meat with the zombie virus. Among players, it is called the zombie seducer. 
If you get it, zombies in the area 100 meters away will immediately come to the smell of it. After that, he throws the meat to the girl through the window. She clenches her fist and screams in displeasure that she doesn't need food, she needs a safe place. Hasn't he realized this yet? She wonders what's wrong with this guy. But suddenly, the girl turns back and sees many zombies with red eyes crawling into her room. The next moment, blood splashes in different directions and spreads across the floor. Live on the phone, people write angry comments to the girl. Is she in the mood to blog at this time? She doesn't seem to have any worries since she's watching the block. How can you understand the level? Where are these quests? Dying is very scary. It can't be that zombies are so scary or what? Lin Zilio walks down the street with his hands in his pockets and notes that this will be the first lesson of the end of the world for people. People are falling down from the upper floors and Zilio notes that the first lesson of the end of the world is that you don't need to ask just anyone for help. While he walks forward, many zombies are crawling after him. After some time, he approaches the devil's capital, the sports center. Lin Zilio frowns at it and notes, it should be here. There are two hours left before nightfall, that's enough for him. There must be a special silver level treasure chest hidden in this sports center. According to the game settings, various quests, robot traders, or treasure chests appear in significant places in the city. Treasure chests fall directly to the ground and anyone can open them. In order for the boss chest to appear, you must kill the main boss. The value of such chests is higher, but it is very difficult to get them. Silver level equipment and weapons are hidden in silver chests. An information box notes that the environment at the sports center is suitable for the mission. The new task is called One is Worth Hundreds. Zilua looks at it carefully and reads that he has to show his true strength. He must kill 100 zombies in the sports center. The level is not limited. Zero out of 100 mission requirements have been completed. The quest reward consists of one simple trainer, one bronze level item. The temporary execution of the task is 24 hours. Does he accept it? After reading this, he wonders, 100 zombies. Now most zombies have already moved to the second level. Moreover, this center is very large. He would like to just find the chest and hide, and not kill zombies. This task appeared very unexpectedly. What if he refuses it or fails it? Then what follows? The information window explains that he does not need to worry. The trainer system is created to help him and to ensure that he enjoys the gameplay. Therefore, there is no punishment for refusing tasks or not doing so. On the contrary, he will receive 100 consolation coins. Lin Ziluo immediately exclaims, it can't be that great. In any case, even if he loses, he will not lose anything. After that, he clicks on the button to accept the task. Ziluo remembers that the silver chest should be hidden in the warehouse on the third floor. If he goes through one door, he can go through a safer route. When he reaches the first aid post on the second floor, it will already be 8 o'clock in the evening, where he will spend the night. There is a bed at the first aid station, so he will sleep and continue his journey tomorrow. Around lunchtime, the next day he will reach the warehouse on the third floor. When he finds the chest, he will quickly escape from here by jumping from the outer floor. After that, he reaches the door and knocks down the lock with his sword. The lock and chain break, and he opens the door. Behind this a zombie appears and Lin Ziluo happily thinks, here comes the first one. He rushes out of his place and runs up to the zombie and pierces him with a sword. After that, he arms himself with a hammer and hits the monster again. One of the basketballs bounces to the side and the zombie falls to the floor. Ziluo says that this man probably never thought that he would come to play basketball and turn into a zombie. Suddenly, he looks closely and sees a system box appear next to the zombie. Lin Ziluo pushes the corpse to the side with his foot, and a key falls on the floor nearby. He takes it along with the flashbang grenade. This is a single-use bronze-level weapon. It releases bright connections, blinding enemies around. The duration of the captive state depends on the sensitivity of the enemy's eyes, and how long the enemy looked at the light. Ziluo exclaims contentedly, this is a great thing. Tomorrow he will go to the Lie Estate, where he will try this group control weapon. He puts the grenade in his backpack and, looking at the key, wonders, is it from all the doors of the center? The less he breaks down doors, the fewer zombies he will attract. After that, he carefully opens the door to the table tennis room and looks inside. There are many zombies in the room. He carefully sneaks up from the side and hides under the tennis table. Lin Ziluo begins to count them. One, two, three. Only eighteen. Then he frowns and thinks, these zombies are almost at the same level in terms of characteristics as him. 
The average person would need all his strength to handle one. But if he works hard, he will cope with 17. The door of the hall is closed if he makes less noise, then the zombies from outside will not come. A system window appears in front of him with his level. He had four points left before moving to fifth. Zilio notes that first he will kill two and move to the fifth level, then he can show the other fifteen his art. One of the zombies passes by him, and he leaves the sword ahead, he notes first. With one blow of his sword, he pierces the zombie's head, and he falls dead. Hearing the noise, the others stop and turn to look at him. After that, they begin to walk towards him and, stretching their arms forward, growl loudly. Lin Ziluo looks ahead carefully and tightly grips his sword in front of the oncoming zombies. Suddenly, he kills two zombies with one swing of his sword and then jumps out from under the table and uses a point jump to jump forward. Another zombie appears in front of him and he also runs past, killing him. An information window congratulates him for killing a level 2 zombie and receiving 2 experience points and 3 coins. He moves to the 5th level and receives 1 point for the characteristics of his choice. Before the next level he needs to gain 100 experience points. Ziluo goes to the information window and adds 1 point to the speed. After that, he jumps onto the table, which attracts the rest of the zombies. One approaches him from behind, but he turns around and kills him. At this time, someone is watching him through the slightly open door. Then a guy with a red bandage on his head sharply slams the door and exclaims, It can't be. He was unlucky again. From the other side, people fly into the door, and he notes that judging by the outlines, these are zombies. The player who is in the room probably has good resources. A long time later, the guy sits leaning against the wall with a tired look and says that he can only take his resources when he is killed. But then he gets up and pushes away the fatigue and looks out the ajar door again. Lin Ziluo continues to fight monsters, and the guy notes that it seems that his strength is already running out. Then he will help him go to the next world. He smiles slyly and notes that he needs to figure out how to lure more zombies to the guy. There is a bright light in the room, and a zombie is heading towards Ziluo. He realizes with irritation that this is bad. The scream of these zombies only attracts even more others. Suddenly, he turns around towards the noise coming from the back of the wide doors. The door, like the wall, turns out to be covered with many cracks and scratches. Lin Ziluo understands that he must remain as calm as possible. He doesn't know how much longer this door will hold. Once he kills these zombies, it will be time to retreat. Several zombies head towards him and jump, growling loudly. He also pushes off the floor with his feet and jumping towards them kills three at once. Having landed, he turns around and sees the zombies also turning towards him. But Ziluo pierces three people at once with one sword and then sits down on the tennis table and tiredly wipes the salt. A system box appears next to him, revealing a stamina potion. The information window explains that this is a one-time use bronze level item that, when ingested, restores 20% of its strength. Moreover, every subsequent minute the strength is restored by 5%. The duration of action is 5 minutes. Freezing time after use is 30 minutes. He drinks the potion and crawls under the table and throws his sword forward, killing another zombie. A system box falls out from it, which Lin Ziluo picks up. He opens it and gets a spiked bracelet. The information window explains that this is bronze level equipment, a magic bracelet. The characteristics of this are energy plus one. Among the additional functions, there is also memory. It can summon magical thorns from underground. The skill cooldown time is 24 hours. Ziluo, looking closely at the bracelet, thinks it can't be. And additional skills. How lucky he is. He then puts it on his hand when suddenly a zombie breaks down the door and gets inside the room. Lin Ziluo sees this and gets up from the floor with a smile and says that this is just in time. But the zombie notices him and, stretching his arms forward, tries to catch him. He jumps over the tennis table and, flying straight at the zombie, activates the bracelet. Huge spikes appear from the ground and stop them. There was a joyful exclamation that now the fun begins. The spikes pierce the concrete floor and tear apart the zombies. When Lin Ziluo sees this, he is amazed and thinks, are they so strong? Probably, such a strong reception of magic is received only at about the 20th level. One of the zombies tries to attack him, but ends up decapitated by a thorn. Ziluo approaches the other edge of the tennis table, but looking forward he notes with surprise that there are so many corpses. The information window congratulates him to everyone that he killed a level 2 zombie, so he gets 2 experience points and 3 coins. 
Also, for killing zombies, he receives 3 and 5 coins, 2 experience points, and 3 coins. He receives a short-range torpedo tube in double quantity. He also receives eyes and an investigator in double quantity. He is killed by a strong wind. The use of the spikes has been completed and begins with a 24-hour freeze. The system also notifies that the first time you use the additional function of spikes, the power of the skill is very high. After using a skill, the player needs to restore the skill using his energy. After the skill is restored, the strength will return to its previous level. After reading this, Lin Ziluo exclaims joyfully, he's lucky. He sits down near the fallen system boxes and opens the characteristics of the item. The short-range torpedo tube is a one-time use bronze level item. It allows you to shoot at a designated location. The maximum shot distance is 30 meters. Strong wind boots are bronze level equipment. The characteristics of this are physical strength plus one, speed plus one, it reduces the sound of footsteps. Additional functions include super speed for 10 seconds, increasing your own speed by 20%. Freezing time is one hour. He changes gear, and the information window congratulates him for successfully hoping to die in a strong wind. Their basic characteristics are Strength 18, Energy 18, Body Quality 12, Speed 18. He exclaims in bewilderment that only 10th level specialists have such characteristics. This is very cool. After that, he clenches his fist resolutely and says that when he changes specifically, his characteristics will be twice as high as those of ordinary people. When Lin Ziluo walks forward, he sees a new bunch of monsters ahead. He loads the zombie virus meat into the torpedo tube and fires it straight ahead. The meat flies over the zombies' heads and falls back. They immediately smell it and start fighting to eat it. Ziluo opens the system window and activates the super speed boots skill. After that, he instantly runs past the zombies, remaining unnoticed. When he finds himself on the stairs, he looks at the clock, which shows 7 o'clock in the evening. Ziluo thinks that in an hour, it will be 8. When it gets dark, the zombies' characteristics will increase. Now it's better for him not to kill zombies, but to find a place to rest and think about what to do in the morning. He climbs the stairs and reaches the infirmary. He pulls on the door handle, but it doesn't budge, and then he takes the key out of his pocket. But suddenly he notes it can't be. Is the door closed? Lin Ziluo begins to reason about when the end of the world came. It was 7 o'clock in the evening. The sports center was not yet closed. The first aid station is usually locked up after closing. This means that this door was locked after the end of the world. After that, he puts the key into the door hole and, having opened the door, thinks it would be good if the one who was inside was honest with him. He goes inside and tries to walk as quietly as possible. But when he closes the door, then suddenly someone presents a knife to his throat and asks who. Where did he get the key to the infirmary? Zilio says with a smile that the person is very vigilant, that's not bad. Then he abruptly grabs his hand and, squeezing it tightly, adds that he has messed with the wrong one. Lin Ziluo takes a step and puts the hand of the guy with the bandana behind his back and squeezes it tightly. The guy screams in pain, but he covers his mouth with a rag. After that, he opens the system window with the warehouse and takes out a piece of fabric from there. This is a useful thing for the end of the world, which he took out at his leisure. After that, he curtains all the windows and orders to turn on the lights. The nurse explains that if they turn on the lights, they will attract monsters. But Lin Ziluo is screaming, can't she see? He had already closed all the windows. She must turn on the light. The girl tries to tell him something, but then she just turns on the light. In the medical room, there are two nurses, two men in yellow overalls, and a guy with a bandage on his head. The guy turns around and thinks hard. So many zombies attacked him, and he still hasn't died. He wanted to wait until this player died and take advantage of the opportunity. Zilio turns and turns to him and says that he has seen this look many times already. Why does he make such crazy eyes? After that, he sits down opposite him and with a smile says that he should listen to him carefully. When the end of the world comes, you should never look at other people with hatred. Because he might get killed. With these words, he hits the guy with a dagger. Men and women look on in horror. The guy's sword falls out of his sleeve and Lin Ziluo notes that it looks like this guy was well prepared. If he didn't kill him, then your boyfriend killed him. He turns to the others and sheepishly scratches the back of his head and says that they shouldn't think anything bad, he's a good person. People silently look at him and think if he is a good person, then they are generally saints. That's it, if you are.
Zuyo points his finger at the guy and explains that they saw that it was he who provoked him. He had to do it. He is for common sense. If they treat him normally and trust him, then nothing bad will happen. The nurse with long hair takes a step forward and looks at him with displeasure. A girl with a light pink body came forward and, turning to everyone else, said, They saw everything. He had to do it. Don't they think so? Then those three people, overcoming their excitement and fear, said, They agree. Aitsu put his hands in the pockets of his jacket and ended the conversation. That's good. The pool of blood was spreading more and more around the dead guy, but Yatsu didn't care at all. When he passed by three people, they tensed to the limit and were afraid to even breathe again. Aitsu thought, today the battle in the ping-pong room went awry. If things had turned out a little differently, he would definitely have completed the task. Yatsu sat down to the side and yawned, ordering the others to remove the corpse from here and wipe off the blood. All the players shouted in one voice, yes, and hastened to do what they were told. Two guys wrapped the lifeless body in a cloth and carried it aside, and the girls began to wipe the pool of blood from the floor. Yatsu looked at the girl with light pink hair and thought, it seemed to him that he had already seen her somewhere. The information window reported that the girl's name was Zhang Yaksu. There was no rank, and she had level zero. At this moment, I had an epiphany, Zhang Yaksu, it's her. In a past life after the end of the world, he had already seen her. She had a secret specialty as a healer. Then Yatsu stood with difficulty, covering his bloody face with his hand and trying not to lean on his injured leg. He said he knows that Yesu is a healer. Let her help heal the wound on her face, then he will do everything for her. Yesu turned her head to the side and replied, This scratch is connected to the soul, so it will not be healed. Yazai was seriously injured several times and Yesu healed him. Although the specialty of a healer in the post-end of the world world is very respected and does not pose a threat, this girl's own strength was too small and she could easily be killed. They all had a hard time because of this end of the world. This girl looks completely different now. Aitsu looked at Yeksu and continued to think, what a coincidence it is that, having been reborn, he met her again on the second day of the end of the world. They have a doctor and also a nurse and a repairman. I closed my eyes when suddenly there was a noise outside the door. This made everyone here tense up and look at the exit in fear. Everyone had a means of self-defense in their hands. The repairmen held hammers, pressing them tightly to their chests. More and more cracks began to appear on the door. It was ready to break at any second. Yatsu opened one eye and looked at his wristwatch, where the time was indicated, 8 hours 30 minutes. He decided it was time to eat. A few seconds later, four dishes of meat and vegetables appeared on the table in front of him, the smell of which instantly spread throughout the room. The rest of the people turned around, and when they looked at the food, they instantly felt how much they wanted to eat. One of the men began to drool, and a nurse with short blonde hair placed her hand on her stomach. Then Yeksu asked where Aizai got all this food. Maybe they can too. I continue to eat, he thought. They got caught. Aitsu asked, are they hungry? It's simple. Let them help him with something. Then he will help them. The nurse took a tense step back, and Yeksu confidently asked Yazai to speak further. She thought... Does he really want to? Yeksu was unable to complete her thought, because at that moment Aizai walked up to her, showed her a piece of paper and said, This is a list of the medicines he needs. Let him and the nurse find all this for him and bring it. After listening to this, Yeksu clarified, Yazai wants them to help find a cure. He continued to hold the list and replied, Yes, but what? Yeksu thought, Why is this guy so strange? After a few seconds, she took the list in her hands and exclaimed with a smile, Everything is fine. They will help. Then Aitsu gave another sheet to the two repairmen and said, This is the list of items he needs. Let them make it for him tonight. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, he will leave. How many items the guys have time to make? So much food they will receive. Then one of the repairmen replied, Okay, all their tools are right here. Yatsu held out his palm, which had several cards on it, and said that the guys could use this. Let them do a good job, then he goes to bed. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, they can come to him for food. Aitsu moved on, thinking, This place is too close to the door. Zombies will walk back and forth and disturb his sleep. Better be careful. Finding himself in another room, Aitsu sat down on the bed and decided to check what he had. Mentally, he exclaimed, Wow, he already has a lot. The information window reported that 22 experience points remained before moving to level 6. One is worth hundreds, Aitsu has to show his true strength. He must kill 100 zombies in the sports center, the level is not limited. 
The requirements of the task have been completed 45 out of 100. The reward for the task is one simple trainer, one bronze level item. Lead time is 24 hours. I yawned and thought, tomorrow morning he will have another six hours, he will have time. Then he lay down on the bed, putting his hands under his head, and closed his eyes. Some time later, when morning had already come, I too entered the room where the other players were. They hadn't slept all night, which is why they looked very tired now. The nurse lay exhausted under the table, and Yesu helped the repairmen with their work. Then Aitsu said, they did a good job. The nurse again put her hands to her chest in fear, and Yesu hurried to calm her down. Both of them had dark circles under their eyes from fatigue. Aitsu gave each one one card and said, they won't have to fight, because one card is enough to last a day. He thinks a card for each is a reasonable price. They exclaimed in unison, thank you. Yesu looked at the card in her hands and thought, she used to think that Yazai would kill them and take all these things, but she was wrong. Yexu did not expect him to keep his word. Yetsu is not as cruel as she thought about him. At this time, he took the things that were prepared for him and said, they just made a good deal. Yesu asked, how to use these cards? This question made Yazai turn around abruptly and think, he forgot that there is not even water training in this game. In a past life, he himself learned to open his warehouse for several days. He remembered how, on his knees, he cried and screamed, it won't open. Then Aizai came closer to Yexu, took out several cards and asked her to watch closely. He thought he would do Yexu a favor. Aizu chose the food card and used this, after which food immediately appeared on the table. He sat contentedly next to him, crossing his arms on his chest, and Yexu joyfully exclaimed, Thank you, I am Tsu. Then all four still inexperienced players repeated everything that had just been shown to them, and within a few seconds they were sitting at the table and eating with great appetite. Now they had bread, fruit, and even meat. At this time, Aitsu was drinking my drink through a straw and thought he needed to warn Yexu. She helped him out so many times in a past life. If he can establish a relationship with her in this life, then completing the game will be much easier. Then Aitsu said, at about 12 o'clock, they need to leave here. He raised his index finger up and then went to the window and removed the cloth from it, causing sunlight to begin to enter the room. Aitsu thought that by then he would have defeated all the zombies in the sports center. He walked in the opposite direction from the window towards the exit door and finally said, let them be careful not to waste time. Yes, he worriedly took a step forward and muttered hesitatingly, there are zombies outside, it's dangerous there. Yazai looked at her for a few seconds and then asked her to worry about herself. He confidently opened the door and went outside where there was a whole crowd of zombies. Aichu took out the sword and, with a slight smile on his lips, ran to fight the monsters. He stuck the weapon directly into the neck of one of the zombies, who died instantly, and received a fishing rod as a reward. Yatsu caught the lifeless body and said, easy, easy, otherwise it will attract other zombies. Seconds later, he killed several more zombies with just a few swings of his sword. He looked confident and there was absolutely no fear or excitement on his face. Very soon, there was not a single living zombie left in the corridor, then I moved on. He peered into the next room, sword at the ready, and then exclaimed, Oh no, zombie without pants. I found myself in the toilet, where one of the zombies was actually standing with his pants down. Fortunately, the monster's jacket was long enough. Yitsu and zombie looked at each other for a few seconds, and then he ran forward with wild red eyes. However, his lowered pants got tangled in his legs and zombie fell. Yetsu looked at it with a grin, lying right at his feet. He waved his hand and asked, Can they fight as usual? Otherwise it will be too easy for him. Yazai stuck the sword into the zombie's neck, killing it instantly. He examined the immobilized body and then placed his eye in front of him. Soon Aizai came out of the toilet and thought, Very few people survived in this sports center. Those who came to the center had very weak characteristics, to be honest but after conversion, the zombie's characteristics, on the contrary, increased. So for regular players, this is a nightmare. Then Yetsu heard a strange noise next to me and glanced at the women's restroom, then headed straight there. He thought, there are zombies there too, there are hardly any living people. However, Aizai did not dare to go there. Did he think this was the women's restroom? Okay, the world is ending anyway. For the sake of the task, he shouldn't worry about such little things. Overcoming my awkwardness and embarrassment, I too opened the door to the women's restroom and then froze in surprise. At first he saw no one, and then characteristic sounds were heard from one booth. Aixu came closer and thought, it seems there are two zombies here. 
Then he broke the door with one movement of his sword and opened it, seeing in front of him two zombies who used to be a girl and a guy. Aitsu didn't expect this, so he mentally exclaimed, What a turn. This game is getting more and more interesting. The zombies opened their toothy mouths wide and walked straight towards Aitsu. However, under their feet there was an iron can, because of which the monsters fell. Aitsu managed to step aside so as not to fall down myself. Then he skillfully swung his weapon and pierced two zombie necks at once, who died at that very second. The information window congratulated Yaitsu because he killed two zombies. He received four experience points and five coins. After reading this, Aitsu put his hand into the pocket of his sweater to take out his phone. He started walking in circles next to the dead zombies and thinking, wow. And zombies, it turns out, look like ordinary people, except for the brain, nothing changes. I started to take a closer look at the zombie and take pictures of it. He thought, these two monsters in complete chaos do not forget to indulge in human passions. I zoomed in on one of the photographs and looked at it more closely, thinking, no, judging by the age of this guy and this girl, isn't this the same famous couple? In his past life, this zombie couple was first seen at the sports complex. They are inseparable and understand each other without words. Their strength is second only to that of the zombie king. Together they could even fight the god of war or the zombie king. Aitsu didn't think that he would defeat such a famous pair on the third day. At that moment, a glowing box appeared in front of him, inside of which was a fusion stone. The information window stated that a bronze-level fusion stone is a one-time-use item that allows you to fuse two bronze-level items of the same type together. This results in a new item with a higher level that can reach silver. Yatsu hid the card with a smile, put his hands in his pockets, and walked towards the exit from the women's restroom. However, he suddenly stopped and turned around. A blue glow formed in one of the toilet stalls, which forced Yachu to take out his weapon again. He walked up to this booth and saw another chest floating in the air above a small pattern diagram. Aitsu exclaimed, this is amazing. Today is a really happy day. I also found a bronze level chest. The information window congratulated Yazai for finding a bronze level treasure chest. He receives an additional 10 reward points. Yatsu wants to open a treasure chest. It will take 30 seconds to do this. Without wasting any time in thinking, he exclaimed, open it. Then another information window appeared, on which a countdown was carried out from 30 to 0. Yatsu opened the chest, and a card with a picture of an apple appeared in the air. He took it with the hope that the apple would add strength or speed. The information window said, this is the fruit of the characteristics. This is a one-time used bronze level item, also called the fruit of the immortals. After use, the main characteristics increase by 2 points. Type, this is a rare bronze level item that can permanently increase the basic characteristics. After moving to level 6, Yaitsu will be able to use the fruit and add a maximum of 2 points to the characteristics. Other players will not know that the characteristics have increased. If two players share this fruit, then each of them will receive 1 point. Yaitsu stood up and threw the apple in his hands, deftly catching it. He asked, so this fruit increases stats forever. Not bad. He turned on the water tap and hurried to wash it off so he could take his first bite of the apple. Yatsu opened his eyes wide and exclaimed how delicious it is. It tastes better than anything he's ever tried. Yatsu almost shed tears of pleasure. He quickly ate the entire fruit, after which new information windows appeared. As I used the fruit of characteristics, two points were added to its characteristics. Now the characteristics of Yazai are as follows, strength, energy, and speed 18, body quality 14. Yazai picked up the large carpet card and finally left the women's restroom. He thought, there are so many surprises in this sports center. Hurry up and kill the last zombies. Soon Aitsu found himself in another room, where I saw an incredibly huge number of mutated people. As soon as the zombies noticed Aitsu, they all ran towards him. He just grinned and grabbed the sword more tightly, thinking that this way he wouldn't bother the zombies in other places. With one movement of the sword, Yaitsu killed two zombies at once, after which an information window appeared, where congratulations were written for Yaitsu. He killed a level 2 zombie, giving him two experience points and three coins. Then Yaitsu continued to defeat the zombie. On the information window it was written, he moved to level 6 and received one point towards the characteristics of his choice. To move to the next level, you need to gain 200 experience points. Then Yazai received a resource card and bronze level equipment, namely the Super Flash Grenade. 
All the walls and floor were smeared with blood, and dead zombies were scattered throughout the room. I too unlocked new bronze level equipment. He received plus one point in strength, and now his strength is 19 points. One is worth hundreds, Aitsu has to show his true strength. He must kill 100 zombies in the sports center. The level is unlimited. The requirements of the task were completed at 62 out of 100. After reading all the messages from the information windows, Aitsu got to another chest, from which I took out the lion's wristbands. This is bronze level equipment, the wristbands have the power of a lion, the ability to make others tremble in fear. Characteristics, strength plus one, body quality plus one, attack power increases by 10%, the effect of intimidation is achieved. The intimidating effect is that coordination is reduced. If the enemy uses a skill, the skill is blocked. Yatsu can put on a helmet or a mask, only one of the two items will work. He can also wear jewelry around his neck. On his upper body, he can wear armor or a cloak. On his lower body, he can wear trousers. And on his feet, he can wear a pair of boots. Yatsu can wear wristbands, gloves, a bracelet, or a ring on his hands. It can activate the actions of only one item. The equipment is a rare type, so it does not add points to the characteristics. Each piece of equipment has different properties. Yazai can equip the equipment depending on his needs. He chose the rings, which added plus two points to his strength. Some time later, Yatsu carefully opened the door, still drinking his drink, and looked around the room. In front of him on the floor lay several lifeless bodies, with pools of blood around them. I thought, ordinary zombies do not have such strength, they can at most bite a person and turn him into a similar person. Unless zombies can also eat a person's brain if they are in a bad mood. Aitsu turned around and walked forward, thinking only two could do this, the first of them is the zombie boss. Boss zombies are at a higher level than regular zombies. This has more power. Such bosses love to eat people. However, if there are no people nearby, the boss can eat his own kind to get enough. Yatsu squatted down to examine the dead man. He continued to drink and reason. The second option is zombie animals. Stronger animals easily turn into zombies. Weaker ones, such as mosquitoes, rarely turn into zombies. Out of a million mosquitoes, only one becomes a zombie. Animals' zombies especially have a soft spot for people. They love to eat brains, but they won't let zombie people go either. Suddenly, Yazai opened his eyes wide and looked at the many scratches on the body of the deceased. In his mind, he exclaimed, Was it a zombie cat? He hates zombie cats because they are highly sensitive and have amazing hearing. This cat knows for sure that he is here. Aitsu took a few careful steps and decided to see if this cat wants to attack on the sly or directly. Where is it? Yatsu must determine the location of the monster in order to attack the cat first. Suddenly, strange sounds were heard, which made Yazai open his eyes wide. A zombie cat jumped out in front of him, sharply waving its clawed paw. Yazai hurried to defend himself and threw the sword straight at it. The information window said, This is a zombie cat with sharp claws. Bronze level, level 9. Basic characteristics, strength 21, energy 10, body quality 9, speed 20. Phantom attack speed increases by 30%. The effectiveness of the attack is to defeat the enemy by 120%. During an attack, the body goes into a ghost state. The percentage of wounds is reduced by 50%. I thought, this cat is a boss because it has an additional property in its name. On the next information window, it was written, the talent has sharp claws. It can cause a laceration. The healing time of the wound will decrease by 40%, and the bleeding time will increase by 40%. Cat's eye is the ability to terrify people with just one look. As a result, the main characteristics of the enemy are reduced by 20%. This can also affect the enemy's fighting strength. Yazai continued to reason, this boss has excellent abilities and surpasses him in speed and strength. That's why this is the boss of the end of the world game. The speed of healing of the wound decreases, and the bleeding time, on the contrary, increases. Even if Yazai hurts his hand, it will not recover soon. He thought about it, so he will kill the zombie cat with the help of his rich combat experience. Zombie cat. At this time, the enemy was opposite Aitazu and was ready to attack. Yatsu received a new task to kill the zombie cat. Revenge on zombie cats. These animals, with special talents, were frequent guests on the third floor of the sports center. Every day people came there who loved to feed the furry creatures. However, after the end of the world, cats infected with the zombie virus immediately began killing people. 
Sharp claws pierced people's skin, and they died in agony. The requirement of the task was to kill the zombie cat. The reward is 100 reputation points, 200 coins, 100 experience points, and one bronze level item. Completion time is 8 hours. The penalty for failure to comply is a reduction by one level, a reduction in all characteristics by one point. Refusal of a task is equivalent to failure to complete the task. The trainer system optimizes related issues related to the task. Aitsu looked thoughtfully at the 100% displayed on the screen, and then the conditions changed. Revenge on zombie cats, the requirement of the task is to kill the zombie cat. The reward is 100 reputation points, 500 coins, 300 experience points, and one bronze level item. The reward for the task has been optimized. Execution time is 24 hours, execution time is not optimized. There are no penalties for compliance. There is no penalty for refusal or failure to complete the task. Yatsu grabbed his head and thought, wow, is this still the game he knows? In my past life, all the tasks that I completed were of a high level of difficulty. He remembered a huge horned monster that could crush several people with just its paw. It didn't matter whether I lost or refused, the game always penalized him severely. Only 1% of the players found the task easy, but even when they met the bronze level boss, only a few could win. And the reward for creation was only plus 50 coins. I thought it would be better if this didn't happen at all. He read the information again and thought, this stupid task now brings a big reward, and there is also no penalty for failure. This is great. Then Yatsu accepted the task of revenge on zombie cats. Please let him complete the task within 24 hours. At this time, the zombie cat was nearby and licked its body. Aitsu looked at it and thought, as far as he knows, if you succumb to the boss's provocation, you can immediately lose. So let the enemy attack first. Yatsu sat down on the floor, which made the cat stick out its ears in surprise. Aitsu calmly opened the desired application and began to read, laughing very loudly at this time. The cat frowned with displeasure and began to meow loudly, attracting attention. A few seconds later, with flashing red eyes, it jumped straight at Yatsu. It cried, let the man die. Cat Zombie waved her clawed paw just a few centimeters from the face of Yatsu, who fortunately managed to lean back. He pulled out his sword as the zombie cat prepared to attack. A second later, it jumped high and meowed, and at that moment, Tsu repelled the attack with his sword. The zombie flew to the side, but after a few seconds, it jumped into the air again and asked, The insidious man didn't expect that he knew everything in advance. Then yet Tsu swung his weapon sharply and cut off the claws on one of the zombie's paws. Drops of blood sprayed out, and the cat frowned in pain. It hissed. The man wounded it, and now let him expect no mercy. Then Yatsu contentedly put the sword on his shoulder and replied, Now the cat is a zombie without its claws, let it try to attack. The monster grew more and more angry, preparing for the next attack. It meowed loudly and used Cat's Eye, the zombie cat's ability. Yazai tensed when he saw the cat's scary red eyes. He thought, Zombie is hallucinating. At that moment, the huge face of the zombie cat began to appear in front of my face, with clawed hands crawling out of its eyes, nose, and mouth. Disfigured, toothy faces began to fly around. Yatsu frowned and said, he's been playing this game for ten years. Zombie Cat thinks he can scare him with ghostly zombies. This is still a long way from Yatsu. Then the zombie cat meowed in confusion, and a few seconds later it flew to the side due to the attack of Aizai. The zombie cat landed on its paws and wrinkled its face, and then began to run away in the opposite direction. Yazai was surprised for a second, and then clenched his fists in anger. He threw his sword using a spinning sword technique. A moment later, the blade hit the zombie directly in the neck, killing the cat. Several information windows appeared nearby with congratulations to Yaitsu, who completed the task revenge on zombie cats. He killed the bronze level boss, namely the zombie cat with sharp claws, thanks to which he receives 50 experience points and 100 coins. Yazai moved to level 7 and received one point towards the characteristics of his choice. To move to the next level, he needs to gain 400 experience points. Yazai moved to the seventh level and received one point towards the characteristics of his choice. He became the first player to kill a bronze level zombie and received the new title of bronze fighter. This information will be published for all players. Aitsu happily read all the information, while one of the players thought angrily, this Aitsu again, who is he anyway? Information about him has been published again. The red-haired girl exclaimed, wow. This Aitsu is so cool. 
When will he come and take her as his wife? Another guy with short hair stood next to two killed zombies and said, Aitsu is just chasing glory. He doesn't care about these ads. Sometime later, when it was already dark outside, an unknown man was sitting on his chair right in front of the large windows. He held a glass of drink in his hands and said, This player named Yozai is definitely from their dragon state. It had already become brighter outside, but this unknown man continued to sit in his chair. He said that if such a strong player wants to join them, then their numbers will increase exponentially. They answered him, Yes, sir. After some time, an information window appeared in front of Yatsu, where it was written that messages that he had defeated the boss had been published. Yatsu raised his hand to his chin and said, This time he will make a big splash. Probably, then he will have to hide his beautiful face from his fans. Yatsu took out the chair card and used it. A chair immediately appeared next to me, on which I sat down and exhaled with relief. He thought that all the characteristics of this cat were above him. Although he had to spend a lot of resources and energy to defeat it, it was still a great achievement that he managed to kill the bronze boss. If next time he encounters a boss stronger than this cat. Aitsu could not finish speaking as two information windows appeared nearby. It was Yatsu who congratulated him. His title of bronze fighter was published throughout the world. He received a reward of 1,000 reputation points, 1,000 coins, 3 points to the characteristics of his choice. He has one square meter added to his storage. Then I opened the game panel. His rewards at the moment were reputation 2,000 points, 5,000 coins, 4 points for characteristics of choice, backpack storage expanded by 2 points to 4 square meters. Yazai moved to level 7 and received the rank of bronze fighter. The Stamina Potion is a one-time use bronze tier item. Once used, it restores 20% of strength and also restores 5% of strength per minute, lasting 5 minutes. After use, freeze for 30 minutes. Bronze Fighter, this title is awarded to the player who is the first to kill a bronze level boss. This gives plus 2 points to all characteristics, reduces the power of bosses or simple creatures below the bronze level by 5%. Aitsu exclaimed, this is a great ability. Then he clicked on the change button and a message appeared in front of him. Hello, player I am Tsu. He wants to change the title of the first drop of blood to the bronze fighter. Aitsu confidently pressed the change button, after which a congratulation appeared. Yazai has changed his rank to bronze fighter, which will take effect within one hour. With the application of the rank of bronze fighter, the characteristics of Yatsu will change. Basic stats, strength 23, energy 19, body quality 16, and speed 21. Yozai began to massage his shoulder and said, with these stats, even if this cat comes to life, he can deal with it in no time. I wonder what his characteristics will be when he changes his specialty. 30 minutes later, he got up from his chair and walked over to the body of the fat free zombie cat because a treasure chest was hovering above it. Inside lay a forge of zombie cats. This can summon a zombie cat with sharp claws. The player can control the cat in battle for 30 minutes. Freezing time is 48 hours. Zombie cat can take over 60% of the player's characteristics, kill experience, and cat coins will go to the player. If the cat is killed, no resources will be lost. Aitsu held the treasure in my hands with delight and rejoiced. Wow, an item that can summon a zombie cat. What a loot. This means that now he has an eternal assistant. Aitsu picked up the animal by the scruff of the neck and said, and it also has fur, meat, and claws. This can be turned into gloves, food, or a tool. If a cat could, it would exclaim that this man is simply a monster. Cruel person. Aitsu said that the zombie cat is a real treasure from the ears to the tip of the tail. He hastened to hide the body and left the room, approaching the warehouse. Aitsu remembered that the silver chest is in the warehouse. Then he opened the door and saw an unpleasant sight in front of him. Blood was splattered everywhere, there were skulls and missing eyes. I thought, these cats have an unusual taste. This picture will make anyone's hair stand on end. Okay, it's the end of the world, but if only a cat could collect that many eyeballs in normal times. Yatsu did not finish his thought, continuing to look around. He started looking for something worthwhile in all the drawers and boxes. He was sure that something valuable was hidden here. If Yatsu finds something, it means he didn't come in vain. Suddenly his attention was drawn to a dumbbell tied to the handle of the treadmill. He thought that Zombie the cat was playing with the toy. Then Aitsu stood up and said, This cat teaser looks quite unusual, but everything else is just trash. However, Yazai still did not lose hope. Okay, he has to follow through and find something worthwhile. 
It remains to see what is hidden under this white sheet. The knight Sue pulled off the blanket, and a silver chest appeared right in front of him, sparkling with blue light. Aitsu exclaimed, It's that simple. An information window appeared nearby, where it was written, I found a silver chest, and its reward is 20 reputation points. Does he want to open the chest? It will take 60 seconds to do this. Then I confidently decided to open it, after which an information window appeared asking please wait, the chest opens. After the countdown from 60 to 0 was completed, Yazai successfully opened the chest. He found 360 coins. When opening the chest, Yazai received an additional reward. Now its storage has been expanded by 0.4 square meters. When opening the chest, Yazai received an additional reward, namely 50 experience points. Also inside was a winged cape and a skill book. Not believing my eyes, I exclaimed, Wow, there is so much in one chest. Also a skill book. He's incredibly lucky. Then Yatsu opened the book, from which a card appeared, and the explosive swords depicted on it appeared. The information window reported that explosive swords are a warrior ability that allows you to carry out two attacks at the same time. Each attack is equal to 70% of the stat's power. Two attacks are aimed at one enemy, you can also cause an explosion. The force of the explosion is equal to 70% of its own characteristics. Yatsu closed his eyes and thought, not bad, he just needs such an ability, but the degree of difficulty is quite high. A beginner would not be able to master two attacks at the same time, but he is confident that his ability is enough to master this skill. At this time, the system was processing the explosive sword's skill. Yazai wants to learn this skill. He exclaimed yes, and then he pressed the button to learn the skill. A new information window has appeared with congratulations to Yetsu. He took the card with the winged cape and began to read information about it. The winged cape is a silver level equipment made from the feathers of rare bird species. The cape covers the back and also has special magic and gives the ability to fly for a short time. The characteristics of body quality plus two, speed plus two. Additional functions are time freeze, which allows you to freeze time for a short period in the event of a jump or fall. Recovery time is 20 minutes. I too read all this with my eyes wide open and then exclaimed, wow, cape with skills. Now two points have been added to the quality of his body as well as to his speed. Basic stats, strength 23, energy 19, body quality 18, speed 23. Yazai put on the cape and said joyfully, he defeated one cat and became so rich. He wanted to deal with Lee Hayabo tonight, but it seems that this goal is now too small. Maybe it's better to deal with his entire family. Yetsu walked down the stairs and thought, he only had one last task left to complete, one worth hundreds. He stood near the door and looked at the zombie who was holding a tennis racket in his hands. Yetsu knocked on the door, wanting to attract attention. He succeeded, because immediately after the knock, several zombies looked at him at once. Yazai exclaimed with a smile, this time he will attack first. He ran forward, while glowing white feathers flew from his cape in different directions. The zombies also rushed forward towards Yitsu, who at that time had already jumped into the air and swung his sword. He raised the weapon above his head and then stuck it into the head of one of the zombies. It died immediately, and Aitsu continued to float in the air. He said he just wanted to try the spin attack, and one of the zombies suited him best. Then Yazai swung his sword again and then made an attack. He exclaimed, wow, is this skill that good? In one second, the zombie died, falling to the ground. A few seconds later it exploded into small pieces, and the entire room was lit up by a bright flash of fire due to the explosion. Yetsu hurried to cover himself with a cape to protect himself. However, a second later he screamed loudly and flew to the side. Then he landed on the ground and stuck his sword into the floor, creating a huge crack under his feet. Yetsu said, this zombie's stats are higher than others by at least 30%, however, it couldn't withstand such a strong blow. He looked at the damaged gym floor, which now had a dent and a large number of cracks. Plumes of smoke floated around. Yazai continued to say, the attack speed of the sword and the speed of the rotating sword are the same, but compared to the rotating sword, the effect is much better. The test is over, now you can get down to business seriously. Soon, information windows appeared with congratulations, I killed two zombies, thanks to which I received two experience points and three coins. He then killed three more zombies and received three experience points, as well as five coins. Yatsu continued to kill zombies and receive rewards for this. 
Soon he successfully defeated 100 zombies in the sports center and completed a task worth hundreds alone. Yazai received a reward for the task, one simple trainer and one bronze level item. Yetsu wants to collect the reward for the task now. He took the tip of his knife out of the head of one of the zombies and asked if it was all over so quickly. Around him lay dozens of bodies of defeated monsters. Then Aitsu picked up a few cards and said, Has he already spent all his luck? Why now does he only get cards with material resources? Okay, there's no point in worrying. He'll rest for a while and then find something else. Yetsu began to stretch, stretching his tired body. He then sat down and read the message from the information window. It asked, Does Yatsu want to collect the quest reward now? Does he want to pick up a trainer or a piece of bronze level equipment? Then Aitsu said, First he will take the piece of equipment, maybe then he will have better luck with the trainer. If he leaves the trainer for later, then most likely he will get lucky and get something better. Guided by these thoughts, I pressed the pickup button. A short time after the download was completed, an information window appeared with another congratulations from Yatsu. He received a piece of bronze level equipment, a blood absorbing ring. This is capable of taking away enemy forces during battle. Strength stats plus one, body quality plus one, ability 5% of the enemy's damage severity are transmitted through the weapon and transformed into strength. I too read this and said, does that mean the enemy's damage is transformed into strength and transferred to him? Are there such cool abilities? Since the equipment turned out to be so cool, then the trainer might not be so good. Yazai touched his face thoughtfully and then read the message on the information window. All simple trainers have a practical effect and will be useful to the owner. A second later, another information window appeared next to him, informing him that Aitsu received a simple trainer. Ziluo opened his mouth in shock and saw that the system window was congratulating him for getting a simple trainer, Automatic Collection Level 1. Automatic Collection allows you to collect items from killed zombies, which are then placed in storage. Collection Radius 1 of 5 meters. If there is insufficient storage space, collection cannot continue. Ziluo read these words with a serious look and concluded that from now on, he would not only receive a 100% explosion rate from killing zombies, but would also automatically be able to collect items. He jumped sharply, clenched his hand into a fist with joy, and expressed that he was afraid that due to the large explosion coefficient, there would be a lot of problems, and now he got rid of this problem. But he decided to ask a question to the system. This level 1 trainer is a simple trainer. The system responds, Level 1 means the automatic collection trainer level. If he receives the automatic collection trainer again, his level will increase. As the level increases, the trainer expands the radius of collecting items, and other functions may also appear. Tasks from the trainer will appear in accordance with the situation and condition of the player. The player cannot set the place and circumstances. Zilio asked what functions other trainers have, and what will he get next time. He examined the dead zombies that lay on the floor in the gym. The system notified him that it congratulated him on receiving the BBQ seasoning card, and he also received a power bank card with 50% charge. He received a bronze explorer eye-level item and a delicious crab card. The system also detected that the quality of item collection is poor, the collection quality has been optimized. Now he will receive messages about collecting equipment and items, cards will be automatically moved to the storage. He smiled and said, this is great. After that, he opened the system window and looked at the categories of food, water, tools, garbage, and special items, which seemed to him to be a pretty good division. After that, he went to the exit and thought, first he fought with this cat, then he got a trainer, which he spent a lot of time on. What time is it anyway? He looked at his wristwatch and realized that time had passed quite quickly, he no longer had time to have dinner, and he needed to run to the lie estate. He jumped out of the window because he was in a hurry. Meanwhile, at the lie estate, Mr. Hayabo sat on the sofa, surrounded by beautiful girls. He was laughing loudly and having fun with them when he suddenly noticed something was wrong when he looked at his watch. He stood up sharply and his eyes became blurred. He hit the girl in the face with his palm and angrily wondered why they hadn't returned yet. Is he feeding them in vain? Does it take so long to find a couple of people? Xiaobo entered the office and said, Sir, the mercenaries left for the university at 7 o'clock in the morning. There are too many zombies there, and the situation is quite dangerous, so the search took a long time. Hayabo gritted his teeth in anger and said, What a horror! Those zombies again. They already got him. How does this happen? 
He suddenly started screaming, it's clear that he killed these zombies, why didn't he get experience points? He thought that getting promoted in the game could strengthen his body. His guards almost killed the zombies, but it was he who dealt the last blow. So why did he get so little experience? Bo turned towards the entrance doors, and the Hayabo also looked there with stunned expression. In the doorway there was the appearance of a guy who was not visible because of the shadow. Uncle Rong arrived to them, and Hayabo asked him, Has he returned yet? Has he already found that orphan guy and the girl of easy virtue? He threw the bag on the floor and said, Young master, he found the girl, but the Hayabo disappeared somewhere. Hayabo started screaming, Did he find it? But where? Let her go to him now. How dare she hide from him? Rong replied that she had been killed and was in the bag. Hayabo was dumbfounded and asked in horror, What? Rong replied, according to his instructions, they found Yao Jinghin's roommate and then found her in the university warehouse. He opened the bag and showed her bloody body, saying that she had been killed and stuffed into a barrel. Inside the barrel, they also found men's clothing that was soaked in blood. Before her death, the girl was severely tortured and the blows were delivered to her pain points. It seems that the killer is well versed in acupuncture points, stabbing the knife with a special technique into the most painful places, grinding the girl's muscles into minced meat. Hayabo turned away sharply and vomited. Rong squatted next to Jinghin's body and said with a smile on his face that this man was simply a master of torture, and even the most brutal killer would not have done it so perfectly. He thinks that she was killed out of revenge, and that killer is probably going to take revenge on him, sir. Hayabo took a napkin from the tray that the servant brought, wiped his mouth and said, But she is the most beautiful girl in the university. Could she really date such an idiot? At that moment, he realized, This freak, Lin Zouyuo, is it really him? This simply cannot happen. It's definitely not him. He is an orphan. He has neither father nor mother. Where did he get such skills? In addition, he did not have time to send him the video that he had prepared for him, and he could not know that she had set him up. Rong asked sir, is this Lin Ziluo, whom he is talking about, the son of Lin Zhang? He replied, yes, exactly that. After that, the Rong said, he said everything correctly, but they could have helped him. If he was able to do something that even the most brutal killer of this world is not capable of, then he poses a great threat, and to resist such a person, even a hundred warriors will not be enough. They need more security workers. Hayabo asked in fear what he was talking about. Is he missing people? but he is one of the top 10 mercenaries in the Dragon State. Moreover, he has an excellent team of mercenaries. Then he should go and recruit more people, even those who have just started studying. He doesn't want to die. He can't die, he just can't do it. Rong turned around and replied, Okay, he shouldn't worry about it, sir. He will protect him even if he dies. At that moment, Rong thought that if he could protect the Master and the Lai family, then he would not even mind his life. Meanwhile, Zouyuo was in the forest, he destroyed three zombies, and the system reported that he received three experience points and five coins. He is congratulated several times for this, as well as for the fact that he has moved to level 8 and receives one point towards the characteristics of his choice. He smiled and said that he was already on the 8th level, and thought that he would climb it only on the 4th day, he saved half a day. He rose to his feet and thought, since he was leveling up so quickly, he wouldn't have to fight in quests. He bit one of the items in his hand and approached Lai's estate, saying that he had come to him, Lai Hayabo. The thirst for revenge was visible in his gaze, and he asked, is he ready to pay the bills? When he got closer to the estate, there were many military guys around the building. He sat down on a tree nearby and looked after one of the armed men, after which he jumped off the tree, hid behind the bushes and pressed a button in the grass, thinking that he had a good memory and remembered exactly where it was. By pressing a button, he opened a secret passage in the ground, after which he set the initial position and said, Lai Hayabo, he will leave him an escape route, and then catch him when he hopes to escape. This is the famous move of one of the great warriors of the Dragon State, and he looks, this time he was well prepared. So maybe he will defeat him after all? Not far away, he saw the newly arrived warriors and watched them from the bushes. He noticed an eagle badge on the body armor and realized, these are mercenaries. This mercenary squad was his worst enemy in his previous life. Lai Hayabo trusts them the most. Now he knows them completely, but he was never able to find out his family's plans in a past life. If he follows this road, then there should be no problems. The gap is rather large, and if he is, he abruptly stopped thinking when he heard someone say not far from him, Mr. Rong. 
He was dumbfounded and looked to the side, after which he saw Rong Jan and wondered, is it him? Rong Jan is one of the gods of war of the Dragon State, an assassin. Before the end of the world, he worked as a military man and was the leader of an army of mercenaries during times of military turmoil. He is directly subordinate to the Lai family and is strong in various types of hand-to-hand -hand combat, commanding an army, and also pursuing a target. In his past life, after the start of the game, he began to pursue him under the orders of Lai Hayabo. After several attempts to catch him failed, he decided to kill him. He caught him and drove him into a dead end several times. It can be said that he is his most powerful enemy. But then he used the proxy card and turned out to be Rong Jan's biggest shame. He vanished into thin air and the Jan became very angry because of him. Since he escaped several times right under his nose, then he lost his reputation as an invincible mercenary and he received the title of the greatest disgrace. As soon as they meet, both their eyes become bloodshot. He looked after him when suddenly Jan turned sharply in his direction and looked around. Zilio hid behind the pillar again with a frightened expression on his face and thought that it was good that he had a quick reaction. He again began to peep from behind the pillar and bushes. This time, Jan will definitely be a dead man, and if he kills him, then it can be considered that he will get rid of the main protector of the Lai family, and then half the battle will be done. He put the mask of concealment on his face and continued to stand near the pillar. At the same moment, Jean looked at him, and one of his subordinates with a machine gun said, Mr. Rong, the young master is looking for him. He replied that he was already on his way and walked towards the entrance to the house, and Ziluo thought that he should not miss his chance. He took a step that made a sound. And Zhang again paid attention to this and wondered if it was really empty there. He definitely felt that someone was there. Or did he just imagine it? He immediately turned to the guy and said that they needed to strengthen the patrol and protection of the estate. The subordinate replied that he heard the order, and Zhang thought, he doesn't care who he is, but if he wishes harm to his family, then he won't leave here alive. It was twelve o'clock at night. Hayabo sat on the sofa again in his sleep clothes, yawned deeply and asked a question, Uncle Rong, can he go to bed already? It's already twelve o'clock. The zombie is now in the active stage, and it's unlikely that anyone will be able to come to them. Shan said in response to him, Sir, it's better for him to wait a little longer, because his instinct tells him that they are being watched. Hayabo got angry and shouted that he was already tired. He has to sit here all night because of some freak. Bo looked at him smiling and said that if he was bored, they could come up with entertainment. He replied, Yes, he wants to have fun. After which he turned to Rong and asked, Did he catch a zombie this afternoon? Jean replied, yes, sir. He wanted to test it to invent a better anti-zombie weapon for it. Hayabo replied, there are already enough zombies, he should give it to him, since he wants to play. Jan spoke back, of course, but he is afraid that this zombie might harm him. At the same moment, he thought, although calming down the master with the help of zombies is not a bad idea. Hayabo smiled and said, it's okay, he'll definitely be fine. And he is not afraid of zombies, there are so many guards on the estate. Jan turned to his subordinate and asked him to go and bring today's zombie to the master. He replied, Yes, Mr. Wrong. After some time, a zombie was in his room. This creature was held in chains. The monster growled loudly and tried to get rid of the chains. Hayabo looked at this ominously and asked to bring him a large cage. After some time, a large cage was delivered. Inside this cage sat many girls who were chained. He rang the bell. All the girls were dumbfounded with fear. They abruptly began to move from side to side of the cage and make loud noises, and the Hayabo sat on the couch and said that it was too boring. He had been playing with these girls for several months, and he was tired of them. If it weren't for the end of the world, he would have found new ones. It's always more interesting to have fun with new toys, but it's okay. These women will still be useful to him. He fed and watered them for so long, and now it's their turn to pay back. He sharply tapped his foot on the floor, walked up to the cage and told them to take down the zombie shark and throw it into the cage because he wants to see how the zombie eats them. The armed guys looked at each other and mentally wondered, are there even such terrible people in the world? One of them asked the gentleman whether it was possible for him to do this. He really enjoys doing this. Hayabo gave him the key and asked him to open the cage. This man put the key in the lock, and the others began to pull the zombie there, removed the metal frame from the mouth of this creature, and the zombie growled loudly. Hayabo pointed out to them that they should support him until his shackles were removed, and then launch him into the cage. 
One of his subordinates sat down on his knee in front of him and asked the question, Sir, this is somehow cruel. Maybe it would be better to let these girls go. He got angry and another man in a jacket bent the guy's face to the floor and apologized to Mr. Pillaw, saying that this guy's name was Wang Dahu and he was sent to replace the guard who died yesterday. Although he is strong, he is quite stupid. Please, he shouldn't be angry with him. Heiabo asked Dahu with an arrogant expression on his face, will he still teach him? Dahu continued to beg him to let the girls go, when suddenly the man in the jacket apologized to the gentleman in a trembling voice, saying that it was his mistake. Hayabo approached Dahu's face, laughed and said that no one had tried to argue with him for a long time, after which he threateningly asked the question, so his name is Wang Dahu. Can he fight? He should be shown that he has the right to talk to him in this way. The military guys grabbed the Dahu and tried to beat him, but the Dahu suddenly grabbed the hand of one of the guys and repelled the attack in this way. Chan, who was watching from afar, mentally wondered if he could really stop his fist. This is quite interesting. The armed guy's hand shook, the Dahu rose to his feet, rolled up his shirt sleeves, and the armed man realized that he was inferior to this guy in strength. He disgraced him and will pay for it with his life. He turned to the guys standing nearby and asked for help to teach him a lesson. One of them scratched his head and asked, Hey Sin, did he have too much fun with the girls? Another also asked the question, Since when can some inexperienced guard beat him? He also thought that the power of this Van Dahu should not be underestimated, and he should not be trusted either. At that moment, these guys came to the rescue and twisted Van Dahu's arms, stopping him in the face of Zing, who swung his fist at him and hit him right in the face. And blood flowed from his mouth, and he began to cough, and the Hayabo standing behind him asked him not to kill. Sin turned around and answered, Yes, sir. Hayabo ominously asked, Did he want to protect those girls? Then let him watch their death with his own eyes. The gentleman wants to have some fun. The military guys presented his head to the bars with the girls doomed to death. Another guy brought the zombie to the cage and launched the creature right into it with the help of other guys who were holding sticks. When the zombie entered the cage, he examined the sitting girls and began to kill one by one. Their blood splashed everywhere, and Van Dahu could not do anything and looked at it with tears in his eyes. They covered his mouth with a hand, and his eyes began to roll back and his body began to tremble. After a moment he was released, he sat on his knees in front of the cage and lowered his gaze. Hayabo threateningly ordered to launch Van Dahu into the cage, because they have a very strong one. He also wants to see who is stronger, him or the zombies. Those around them simply laughed at such a proposal, and one of the guys said, This is their master, who knows a lot about fun. They didn't even think of that. Sin replied, That's right, this is their master. One of them thought, even if it's the end of the world, we can't neglect human lives so much. The guys dragged the exhausted Van Daha into the cage in their arms. One of them opened a cage in which a zombie was waving the severed arms and legs of girls. The guys threw him right inside. The zombie caught his breath, after which he sharply turned around at the Van Dahu who had appeared, who was looking at him in fear. Dahu bowed his head to the ground and remembered the words of his mother, who asked him to be careful because she was waiting for his return. Tears appeared in his eyes, and he said out loud, Mom, let her forgive him. He won't be able to come home and take care of her. He suddenly opened his eyes and said seriously, No, he won't die. His mother is waiting for him. He clenched his hand into a fist, stood up and swung at the monster, which he hit right in the jaw with his fist and began beating. The zombie growled loudly. Dahu grabbed the creature's body with his hands, and at that moment his facial expression changed and blood flowed from his mouth. The zombie's hand hit him right in the stomach, his blood spilled, and he paused. A huge pool of blood appeared under his body. Hayabo, standing next to the cage, told them to fight further. Dahu, in a terrible state, grabbed his wound with one hand, and with the other went to attack the monster again and destroyed this creature with one blow, after which he caught his breath and fell to the floor next to the zombie. He looked up. Tears continued to flow from his eyes, and he thought, Mom, let her forgive him. He let her down. He didn't listen to her. Jan, who was standing near the cage, lowered his gaze and said that he was very sorry, and Zing was angry because he was still able to kill the zombie. Those around him were not satisfied that he died so quickly. He began to turn into a zombie, his entire body trembling and his eyes glowing bright red. Meanwhile, Zilluo continued to sit on the tree near Lai's estate. He thought that his chance had come. Zilluo got closer to the building and killed one of the guards by cutting his throat with a knife. 
He took the uniform of this guard, after which he walked further towards the house, when suddenly one of the guys asked him, Addy, what is he doing here? He replied that he noticed that one guy had fallen asleep and wanted to wake him up. That guy replied that then everything is clear, the commander is having fun with the others in the large hall, and they must guard his gate here. Two more guys approached them, and one of them said in response, Yes, yesterday they fought off zombies all night, and today they are not allowed to rest. They don't consider them to be people at all. The other guy told him that he was still doing well, but he hadn't slept for 24 hours. If they want to ensure complete security, then why is there no commander here? Ziluo turned sharply to them and asked again, What can I say? They are simply not people for them, but cannon fodder. The guy looked at him in bewilderment and asked when he grew up so much. He looked at him menacingly in response and a moment later began to destroy all the people he came across on his way, saying that these are idiots who are not able to keep secrets and cannot live in this world. He walked straight along the path, stepping over bloodied and dead bodies. He turned around sharply and saw one guy running away when he suddenly grabbed him and killed him with a knife to the throat, but this guy managed to fire a flare. Ziluo sharply pointed his knife upward and hit the flare, which did not go off due to the impact and fell to the ground. Ziluo said, grasping it in his hands, that it was good that in his past life he had examined all the ammunition of the Lai family, otherwise he would not have been so lucky today. The system reports that all the guards on the outer part of the estate have been destroyed and his path of revenge has successfully begun. He received a special task called an eye for an eye. This task means that no one will remain alive after insulting him. Tonight, he will become a true god of death and reap the souls of everyone present in the Lai Manor. The mission requirement is to kill the remaining 269 people in the estate. Reward, one simple trainer. One piece of bronze level equipment. Time to complete 12 hours. Is he willing to accept this task? He pressed the button to accept the task and said that everything was fine. Lai Hayabo, he has another reason to die. The system reports that he accepted the task and entered the magical barrier of revenge. Once 269 people in the Lai Manor are dead, one person will escape, and in this case, he can use the equipment to find the target. This wishes you good luck for the successful completion of the task. He pressed the button to look at the characteristics of the magic barrier of revenge and wondered, is it a magic barrier? What is this thing? He remembers that when he first encountered it in his past life, it was used in the war between the Dragon State and Japan. The system shows the magic barrier of revenge, a high-level tool, puts people in a special magic barrier. If someone steps outside the barrier, the owner of the barrier can track that person's location. Minimum validity period is one month. The Dragon State then placed a barrier of revenge in the capital of Japan, and those who escaped from this barrier were killed in a few days, so that they were able to destroy the whole of Japan. Today, he will take this opportunity and see how useful this thing will be. The system congratulated him on activating the task and wishes him success. It has also been reported several times that he has killed varying numbers of people. He was very surprised and asked what was happening. He didn't do anything. Why did people start dying? He needs to go and see what's going on there. He started running towards the building. Meanwhile, Hayabo, Zhang, and several other guys were in the same room. Many girls lay unconscious on the floor. Hayabo asked the bold guy, what is he doing? They gave him this girl to have fun, and he killed her. He scratched his head, apologized, and said that he had overdone it and broken her spine. Now they have one less toy because of him. He said in response that now they have no toys left. What should they do now? At that moment, whose creepy voice asked them a question, maybe they could play with him. All the guys were dumbfounded. Jang looked menacingly into the distance, and the voice continued to ask several times, so will they play with him? Jan jumped up and thought that he had never seen a person capable of creating such a strong aura of death. Compared to him, he is just a little boy. Hayabo fell to the ground in fright and shouted, here he is. He really came to kill him. Bo, who lifted the Hayabo onto his shoulders, said Mr. He should calm down. Mr. Does you wrong with his army of mercenaries is already here and nothing will happen to him. Hayabo said in a trembling voice, yes, wrong will kill him. Rong stopped and asked, he doesn't know why he came to the house. Maybe they can talk. He immediately thought that if he was able to enter the house, it meant that he had already dealt with all the guards outside. Although those guys were not well trained, each of them is worth ten soldiers. How could this man kill them so easily? Is he a man or a god? Or maybe a whole army of them? Although he is a man, he is now the god of death for them. 
Shan sharply waved his hand and ordered his subordinates to walk around the room and inspect everything, when suddenly a luminous object fell on the floor among them and began to sparkle. They started screaming that something had happened to their eyes. Someone is blind and can't see anything. They wondered what was going on. Someone asked, is he dying? They screamed for help, and at that moment a Zylo came into their room, whose body was illuminated by a blue ray. Everyone around closed their eyes and sharp shoots began to leak out of the floor and destroy all the people, as Zylo used the power of the attack with spikes. The guys were destroyed a moment later and Zylo shouted, spinning swords. Shan was stunned by what he saw and Ziluo began to appear in the air behind him and threw the same object at his feet. He noticed this and a moment later a huge fiery explosion occurred in the room and Ziluo grabbed the sword in his hands and headed towards him. Shan covered the bright light with his hand and thought, how terrible. He couldn't even see the enemy's face and the whole room had already fallen. One of his subordinates turned to him and said, These thorns seem to be magical. Almost all of the master's services and guards died, and those spinning swords even killed a crocodile, a bear, and a wolf. Sean got angry, pointed his finger at his face, and shouted, He must stop and say how many people are left. The guy answered, Besides the master himself, Zhao Bo and him, there were still sixty-six guys left. Among them ten were wounded, and several of them had not yet recovered their vision. A Hayabo got into the conversation and shouted with anger, Who is doing all this? Who is he? He ruins all his plans and ruins their fun. Uncle Rong, he urgently needs to take revenge on him. He wants to see his corpse. He must find him, because he himself does not believe that he could cope with so many people. Jan turned to Bo and asked him to take the gentleman and the skinny guy to a secret tunnel, and he and the remaining guys would apprehend the killer outside. Bo replied, Okay, but it seems to him that he has not left but is watching them. Jan patted him on the shoulder and walked towards the exit. Bo looked into the distance silently. At this moment, Ziluo was in one of the rooms and drinking a drink from a straw, thinking that beyond all expectations, he did not think that this butler was so smart. As he thought, they decided to split up and go outside to protect the Lai Hayabo. The system window showed him the requirements for the task. He must kill the remaining 269 people in the Lai estate. Already 200 out of 269 have been killed. Zilio continued to think, first he will deal with the remaining ones. He wants to be sure that he can leave without problems. He pressed the system button and opened basic information about Jan and Bo. Jan is the commander of a group of mercenaries. His rank is Zombie Hunter, level 5. Bo, under the nickname Zhao Kiguan, the young master's butler has no rank, level 2. Ziluo realized that Rong John was great, and in such a short time he had already obtained three pieces of bronze level equipment. At that moment he told him to go out, because hiding from everyone is ugly. Ziluo chuckled and mentally wondered what kind of stupid methods these were. Does he want to stall for time so that the Hayabo will leave? He won't allow him to do this. He opened the system window and examined the backpack. There was a zombie cat horn that he could use to control the cat. He can also control using the power of thoughts. When using this tool, the zombie cat gains 60% of its stats. He pressed the use button and a zombie cat appeared near him. Ziluo took out a knife and sharply threw it towards the chandelier, which cut it off from the ceiling and the chandelier fell right to the floor under the feet of Zhang, who looked at it warily, and at that very moment many of his subordinates were killed and bloodied. Jan opened his mouth in shock along with his subordinate when suddenly a zombie cat grabbed him by the neck and destroyed him. Ziluo himself rushed into the battle and began waving his dagger, killing those around him at incredibly fast speed. When he stopped, only Zhang and a small number of soldiers remained alive, who fearfully looked around the room of the dead people. He looked at the Ziluo, whose characteristics were unknown to him, and shouted, why couldn't he see the information about it? What's happening? Enough. Who is he anyway? He's impudent. Ziluo thought about it. The technique is weak. The characteristics are low. Even the personal qualities are non-existent. They will reach a good level only in a few years. He hasn't killed a single mercenary yet, but he already regrets it. The greater the hope, the greater the disappointment will be. Now he knows what disappointment is. He took a sharp step and headed straight towards the Jan, killing all his subordinates in his path. When he came right up to his face, Jan stepped aside and began to tremble with fear, fell to his knees and silently lowered his gaze, preparing for death. Ziluo swung his dagger and asked the cat to track down Lai Hayabo and everyone else. They were probably still in the estate. 
At the same moment, he connected the magic barrier of revenge, touched the Jean's face with his foot and asked, Commander of a group of mercenaries, what is happening to him? Almost all of his people died. Can he still call him Commander? He killed all his mercenaries right in front of his eyes and destroyed all his works. He practically strangled his will with resistance. This is a magical barrier of revenge. Jan got angry and started shouting, Who is he? Let him tell him. Otherwise, after death, he will not close his eyes. Zilio asked with a smile, Won't he sleep a wink? It sounds great. Jan looked at him questioningly, then backed away and opened his mouth in fear. Zilio immediately cut his throat, and he fell to the floor dead. Zilio said out loud that he remembered the day when he called him a small insect and trampled him into the ground. And he also said that he was an orphan and just a freak. He said how dare he challenge Lai's family. And he taught him one important thing, that he shouldn't talk in vain before he's going to kill someone. It's better to take action. He should look at how he lies and they talk to him. Isn't this wonderful? He really didn't sleep a wink after his death. He walked towards the exit with the thought that Rong Zhan was dead, and it could be said that he had dealt with the main protector of the Lai family. Now will it be much easier to take revenge on the family? He opened the door with his head and easily left the room. Meanwhile, the Hayabo, who was in one of the rooms with the bow, turned to him and asked with a feeling of fear, They won't come here, will they? Bo replied, Of course this won't happen. Mr. Rong will deal with those people. At the same moment, a loud sound occurred, and the appearance of a person stuck into the door, which greatly frightened the Hayabo. The door began to break apart piece by piece, and he realized that this man had probably been sent by Lin Ziluo. First he killed Yao Jinghen, and now he came for him. Bo tried to calm him down and asked him not to worry, because they passed through a secret passage, and he would not guess that they were here. Hayabo asked again, how did he then find out about their relationship with Yao Jinghen? And where did this freak find such a strong mercenary? Maybe it was Lin Jian who left an assistant for his son. This simply cannot be. When Lin Jian was killed, they destroyed everything the Lin family had. There couldn't be any help left. If the head had not ordered them to leave someone alive, then this Lin Zilu simply would not have existed. Meanwhile, Ziluo was already at their door and eavesdropped, saying something like this. Heobo shouted that it was Lin Ziluo. That's definitely his voice. Well, how could he come here? How did he find this place? So that means he's been following him for a long time. This means there are so many more stories behind him. At that moment, Ziluo burst into his room and shouted Hayabo that he should die by his hand. Even then he should have killed him. Ziluo asked again. He was wondering who Lin Jian was and why they destroyed everything that the Lin family had. Hayabo laughed loudly and continued shouting. He doesn't even know his own father's name. Although that's what he means. Lin Jian was going to report his father just when he was supposed to get promoted. He was going to destroy everything that their family had been working towards for many years, and that is why the Lin family was turned into ashes. If it weren't for the head, he wouldn't even be the only survivor of his family. But he wonders who helped him. If he had been alone, his guards would have dealt with him long ago. He replied that all his words made no sense because no matter what he said now, he would still destroy their entire Lai family. Heobo asked menacingly, is he... Will he destroy the whole family? He really overestimated himself. At that moment he closed the doors, but Ziluo easily kicked it out right in front of Bo's face, who swung his fist at him and tried to strike him, when suddenly a zombie cat appeared behind him, which he immediately destroyed with his hand, and Ziluo looked in surprise, I started thinking about it, thirty minutes had just passed. He timed it so well. He took off the mask from his face and shouted, It's him, Lin Ziluo. So he's the killer. It was all just him. Heobo shouted with a stunned look, Lin Ziluo, this is really him. This is simply impossible. How could some orphan kill Rong Jan and enter the Lai Manor? It couldn't be him. Ziluo replied with a smile that people of the old school would not survive the Doomsday game. Once the first seven days of the game are over, their well-trained soldiers will not be able to cope with even one zombie on the street. Heobo shouted as he backed away, there was no way he could do this alone. How did he become so strong? Ziluo replied with a grin that he could easily deal with them alone and took out his knife. He got closer to the frightened Bo, who began to defend himself from the attack by crossing his arms, when he suddenly leaned against the wall and took a deep breath. Ziluo scratched his chin and thought, This butler is strong. Even Rong Jan fell from this blow. Since it has come to this, then we will have to use another technique. Bo hit the wall with his fist and turned into a huge, pumped-up man. Ziluo immediately took out his sword and made a sharp movement, saying that he wanted to cut off his head. Does he still have to ask him for permission? 
Maybe he should get an agreement from all generations of their relatives. He used the power of the spinning swords and launched it at the old man, who became wary, clenched his teeth in anger, and felt a threat coming behind him. A moment later, the sword attacked his arm and his blood spilled. He exclaimed in pain and said, This simply cannot be. He had been practicing Chinese boxing for fifty years and could not lose so quickly. He will never stop. At the same moment, he looked questioningly into the distance and saw a bright flame appear in front of his face. Zilio went to attack him and cut his throat, saying that he could not leave the matter unfinished and only after making sure that his enemy was dead could he calm down. How pathetic and retarded this old man is. The end of the world has already come, and he still thinks that Wushu will help him. Bo fell face down on the floor in a pool of his blood. Zylo walked past his head and said, This proves that strength alone is not enough, and you need to change your technique and develop speed. Otherwise, he only has the road to death. He looked towards the terrified Hayabo, who leaned against the wall and sat down, and said how useless he was. He approached him with a sharp blade in his hand and stabbed the sword straight into his leg until it bled, causing the Hayabo to scream loudly in pain. His face darkened with horror, and he asked again, had he already woken up, or was he pretending to be dead? He stabbed the sword into his leg several more times, and the Hayabo screamed loudly for help, and also that his father would definitely deal with him. Zilio smiled and began to twist the wound in his leg with his sword. Hayabo asked to kill him quickly, please. Zilio asked, should I kill him? Of course he will kill him. Exactly, if he hadn't reminded him, he would have forgotten. He opened the system window and decided to get a heavy knife. This is a dull, spasmodic knife. The duller the blades, the more difficult it is to cut something. He plunged this knife into his body. The Hayabo continued to scream in horror. Zilio scratched the back of his head, smiled and apologized, because this knife is so dull and he can't get it inside. He swung the knife again and said that this knife reflects his essence. He hit the Hayabo right in the shoulder, causing him to scream in pain again. Zilio pulled out a knife and said that this knife reflects his path, which he walked for ten years, risking his life. What a pity that his suffering is not even one percent of his. Hayabo asked again in bewilderment, did he say ten years? He grabbed his shoulder and said in a trembling voice that he only started thinking of ways to torture him three years ago, when he found out about everything. Zilio smiled menacingly at him and replied, plunging the knife into his other hand, that this was all to him for his suffering. He began to cut his muscles and said that he was doing this simply because he was having so much fun. Hayabo asked him to stop in a trembling voice, but Zilio only continued his actions, and Hayabo had tears in his eyes and his whole face was wet from stress and pain. Zilio continued to say that he was taking revenge on him for his entire Lin family, although he had never seen the family, but he must take revenge for his ancestors. He brought the knife to his chest and said, and this is for him. But he stopped and said that he didn't care who it was for. The most important thing is that it gives him pleasure. With these words, he plunged the dagger straight into his chest and attacked him again, after which he opened the system window and activated the crucible pincers. Hayabo's body was shaking violently, and he asked what he was doing. He replied that he should thank him, because he came up with the most cruel methods of torture. How many people did he kill? He brought the pliers directly to his mouth, grabbed his neck with his other hand, and said, He simply admires him. In terms of torture, he is simply a genius. Hayabo said in despair that he had once used such torture. Zilio made a sudden movement and Hayabo screamed loudly when suddenly a lot of blood flowed from his mouth and he shouted no. Zilio continued to mock him in every way and in the end Hayabo was pressed against the wall and mutilated when he suddenly asked him a question, is this not enough for him? In his past life, he learned so many new ways of punishment and hurt so many people, he didn't even do 1% of what he did with the others. Okay, he was already almost dead, and it was no longer interesting for him to torment him. It's a pity that he can't use the things he researched on it now. Or maybe he's faking it. He laughed and plunged his sword into his neck, after which he rose to his feet and said, Okay, he overestimated his acting skills. He couldn't play like that. He killed his psyche. This proves that his body was no longer able to withstand more. He said as he approached the exit, spinning swords. The Hayobo's neck sparkled with a magical color. Zilio took the umbrella in his hands and opened it from the blood splashing out of his body so that it would not hurt him. After some time, it was almost three on the clock. He went out onto the balcony and said that the estate looked good under the night sky. 
the system window reports that changes have been detected in his state of mind, he receives the talent thirst for revenge. He looked at it in surprise and wondered what. Yatsu continued to look at the information window, where it was written, Thirst for revenge, look. Then he asked again in disbelief, did he activate the talent? A few seconds later, I pressed the view button, and a new information window appeared in front of him. The system wrote him recommendations, gifted talents and skills in the Doomsday game are different concepts. Skills can be acquired through training. Talents can be activated under certain circumstances, state of mind, personal experience, and personal characteristics. You can activate skills using the skill book, and you can activate talents using luck and real power. The title Thirst for Revenge appeared due to the fact that Aizai carried out his revenge. Now his strength against enemies has increased. Characteristics, after Yazai considers someone an enemy, he can increase skills according to the degree of hatred towards that person. The higher the degree of hatred, the more its characteristics increase. The highest percentage increase in stats is 20%. Aitsu read all this, put his hand on his chin and thought before, he didn't think that this thirst for revenge would be so useful. You can increase characteristics by 20%. The higher the stats of Aitsu in the game, the more he will be able to increase it with the help of his talent. This means that this talent can be improved endlessly. I really liked this idea. Several more information windows appeared in front of him with messages that he had killed 269 people in the Lee estate, thereby completing the task. The system congratulates Yatsu. He received a reward for the task, namely one simple trainer and one piece of bronze level equipment. Does he want to collect the reward now? Without wasting any time thinking, I pressed the pickup button and soon a notification appeared that the bronze level equipment had been received. Yazai received a bronze level equipment item, a magic rod. This is mage specialty equipment that allows you to increase magical abilities as well as the speed of magic activation. Characteristics, plus 5% to the skill and to the activation speed of the magic skill, the energy recovery rate increases by 20%. Then Aizai thought about it and exclaimed, he won't be able to use this thing. He decided to put the magic wand in his backpack. He said it was great stuff for magicians, so he would sell it when the time came. I decided to see what was in his backpack and thought, this automatic collection trainer is very convenient. There is no need to worry that he will miss something but I have to say that the weapons used to kill people in this game are simply barbaric. When a player kills a person in the Doomsday game, his vault disappears and now the player cannot obtain items from there. You can only search the corpse and find something interesting. But when players learn ways to kill people, a life and death struggle begins. Doomsday game does not encourage killing people. Then Yazai took a look at Rong Jan's valuables and decided to take the cleansing pendant. This is bronze level equipment that has purification properties. Characteristics, plus one to energy. Additional skills include cleansing, which is the elimination of negative body conditions such as numbness, dizziness, or loss of vision. Freezing time is 12 hours. Yatsu thought with delight that this pendant could save a life during a battle. The rest is of no use to him, so he will move it to storage. Then he exclaimed to system, he wants to get a trainer. A simple trainer started downloading and was received soon after. Then a congratulation came from the system. Aitsu received a simple trainer called an Absolute Slave of the First Level. This allows you to get one zombie into slavery. The strength of the zombie cannot exceed the strength of the owner. The zombie slave will obey all orders of the owner. This will protect the owner even at the risk of his own life. Note, the zombie will also have part of the host panel. The owner can evolve along with the zombie, and if the zombie dies, the trainer will lose power. Aitsu exclaimed in shock, Wow, zombie? He's never seen anything like this. Is he really not dreaming? To understand whether this was all happening in the willow or in a dream, he pinched his cheek, after which he exclaimed in pain. This is simply the most amazing thing ever. If this zombie really is completely loyal to him, then that means Aitsu won't have to do the dirty work now. Since he found out that Yao Jingtao betrayed him, he can no longer trust anyone. He was going to be alone for the rest of his life, but if Yazai now had a hard-working zombie to accompany him, maybe it could heal his heart wounds. Will the effectiveness of this absolute slave trainer increase if the level of Aitasu increases? The system responded that with each new level, he can get one more zombie slave in the absolute slave trainer. Aitsu imagined how he gathered a huge crowd of zombie slaves and then shook his head to the sides to drive away these thoughts. He said, no, that's not realistic but he wonders how much he should level up to achieve such a result. 
this can be explored. But which zombies are best suited for slavery? Aitsu thinks that everyone who later moves into the status of king of the zombies will fit in very well. He opened the door and continued to think, although all zombies have potential, but it seems to him that after these monsters become his slaves, they will no longer be able to achieve such progress as before. Okay, Aitsu will think about it later. He heard that there are a lot of treasures hidden in the Lee family's basement. It's time to see if there is anything useful there. After Yazai went downstairs and walked inside, his eyes lit up with shock. In front of him lay a large amount of gold, jewelry, and other valuables. Yatsu began to walk past the treasures and say, Now that the end of the world has come, these things are worth nothing. You can't even use them like toilet paper if necessary. It seems that these scrolls with inscriptions have some kind of benefit, but Aitsu doesn't remember which one. He'll put it in storage and then sort it out. He continued to find things that could be useful and put them in storage. Tsu took the weapon and exclaimed, The Lee family even attached precious stones to the knife. Their biggest fear is that other people will think they don't have money. A short time later, Aitsu destroyed the storage room, leaving contentedly. He said, Neither in my past life, nor in this life have I ever lived in such a luxurious estate. Today he will make up for it. Suddenly he stopped, seeing in front of him a huge monster with brightly glowing red eyes. Then I thought, there can't be living people in this house. He then took out one of his glittering treasures and imprisoned the monster in a cage. It was a level 4 zombie. Other characteristics, strength 25, energy 3, body quality 26, speed 18. At night, the characteristics increase. This zombie's talent is natural strength at an epic level. Power can increase as you level up, and all power-related items will increase effectiveness in the player's hands. The skills the player uses only cost physical strength, but do not affect energy. The skill is to hit with all your might. All the force is concentrated in the fist. The power of the blow is 150% of the characteristics. After reading everything from the information windows, I too said thoughtfully, this zombie is very strong. And at night, this monster is indistinguishable from a bronze-level boss. What a coincidence. Aitsu just received an absolute slave trainer and immediately found a suitable zombie. The monster heard this and frowned in fear and then stood up obediently. A few seconds later, Aitsu tapped on the cage and said, Buddy, I am Tsu Man, and this is a zombie. Shouldn't the zombie rush at him? The monster's energy is only three. If you put this in human society, zombies would be considered weak-minded. Yatsu tiredly covered his face, coughed and said, Okay, that's in character. He then asked the system, Can Aitsu choose this zombie as a slave? An information window appeared nearby with the answer, Yes, because the spiritual power of a zombie is small. If you add up all the characteristics, the result does not exceed the characteristics of Aitsu. He thought, This zombie is really good and has an enviable talent, but here are the spiritual powers. Aitsu fell silent and then exclaimed, Okay. System, Aitsu chooses this zombie. Mentally, he thought, okay, let the zombie be dumb, but obedient. Then Aitsu read the question, is he willing to choose this zombie as his absolute slave? And clicked the agree button. After this, the zombie began to glow red-orange and clench his teeth from tension. Then Aitsu wondered in shock, is it resisting? Still resisting? Will Aitsu not regret his choice? Soon an information window appeared notifying the end of enslavement. I need to come up with a name for my zombie. He thought, since this guy is so big and strong, and also has epic level natural strength, he will call it silly. Soon the system congratulated Yatsu on successfully obtaining the stupid one as a slave. Now he can give any orders, even under the threat of death, the zombie will protect him. The absolute trainer level 1 is tied to the Fulmer. A panel has been created for Fulmers. He is level 4, experience 32 out of 50, reputation cannot be restored due to data loss, coins 0. Storage space data is lost, this cannot be restored. Basic characteristics, strength 25, energy 3, body quality 26, speed 18. No rank, talent natural strength, skills strike with full force, no equipment. Recommendation. Since the Fulmer player panel has been implemented into the system, it is impossible to restore storage and reputation data, and it is also impossible to restore experience for killing zombies and quest rewards. Fulmer will develop in the same way as a regular zombie. For killing zombies, it can receive coins, and it also has 1% explosion from equipment and items. Yatsu asked the fool to show strength. He does not believe that this cage is capable of holding a zombie with such characteristics. 
Then the monster took hold of the bars of the cage and began to push the glands to the sides, tensing his whole body. Soon he was able to leave the cage, finding himself next to Yatsu, who said, and what did he want? Did he think the monster would behave differently? If he takes orders, then that's good. The zombie scratched the back of his head and looked away to the floor. Then Aitsu chose the leather wristband as equipment for the zombie slave, which added one point each to body quality and strength, and then read the main characteristics. Strength 26, energy 3, body quality 27, speed 18. Warning, this zombie becomes stronger at night. Aitsu turned around and walked in the other direction, he said. If this already has such high indicators, then what will happen at night? He ordered the fulmer to wait until Aitsu slept. This should guard the entrance and prevent anyone from disturbing its owner. The zombie only growled in response and remained in place. After some time, morning came, I got out of bed and began to pull myself up to stretch my sleepy body. He left the room and noticed a fulmer nearby. Then Aitsu praised the monster and said that he did a good job. The zombie smiled joyfully, but she stopped doing it after I asked the question. The monster didn't eat the other zombies. Yatsu pointed to the bodies of the dead that lay nearby. Then the fulmer began to shake his head from right to left, answering the question. Aizai exclaimed, this is really different from the others. Then he went in the opposite direction, took out some cards and used it. At that moment, several dishes and a drink and an iron can appeared on the table. Aitsu heard something drop onto the floor behind me. He turned around and noticed the zombie wiping his drool and looking in fascination at the food on the table. Then Aitsu scratched the back of his head awkwardly and asked, Does the silly guy want this too? The zombie began to shake his head in agreement. Aitsu exclaimed, Good, let them eat together. He thought that he had never seen such a strange zombie before. It doesn't eat other zombies or people, but it loves regular food.